Ladies and gentlemen across the galaxy. How are we doing today? Welcome to my personal vault. One out of one million on the biggest and deadliest star destroyer this galaxy has ever seen. Be sure. I oh, good. Good song choice, Gary. That's a good follow up song. Be sure on the way out during the stream. Whenever you have a moment, ladies and gentlemen, feel free to take a couple. Plenty of wealth to give away to our loyal Kyber Club, to our loyal empire. And any bounty hunters looking for a job I know. Here, let's let's take a little walk to the to our little meeting room. Let's get to the conference center. Anybody, Gary, out of the Gary, out of the way. Out of the way. Jeez, dude, Sarah. Just great cargo. Coming to Galaxy of Heroes. The big bad, maybe the good boss of the Bounty Hunters Guild. They're ready for some work. They want to get paid. They're out there doing that daily grind. Grief cargo, ladies and gentlemen. You guys know the drill. We're going to weigh on this bad boy. We're going to see what he's capable of. Can he bring a new era? A new moment of glory for these bounty hunters, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you and I are here to find out today. Buckle down. Hope you're having a great day. Get comfy. Plenty of room here for everyone to have a good time. We're going to get this show on the road. Gary, send them on over to our command station. Command station, yes. Woo! You know, we got to... We got to get loose real quick, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on. Hold the phone. Let's crank up the tunes a little bit. Let's just get this party going for a moment. Oh! Here we go! Let's get this party going. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. How you guys doing? All right, let's break it down. Oh. 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 Let's get this party going, ladies and gentlemen, across the galaxy. Not screwing around. Let's go. Ah. All right. Gary, bring him back over. Bring him back over. Woo! Oh, man! Something about our national anthem. Our galactic anthem, second to none. Woo! How you guys doing? Good day? I'm having a fantastic day. Thank you for asking. Absolutely fantastic day. We got some first-time watchers such as, such as Felipe. Oh, welcome. That's where we have a good time. Everybody's welcome here. Maybe not Jawas. I don't know. I don't know about that. Let's not get too carried away with Jawas. I know we're, we're becoming more friendly with them. Thanks to Urza trying, trying to bridge us two together. There's just something about me. I can't get along with Jawa. And with Mando coming to our Kyber Club soon, I don't know how we're going to make this work. I don't know how we're going to make this work. As always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for showing up. Big day today. Big, I'm excited for Grief Karga, man. Really excited to see what Grief Karga is going to bring. Love hanging out with you guys. And big shout out to all of our lovely people who are already throwing a lot of love at us. No, Gary. No. Ro Gary, no, 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 no. Try again, Gary. Try again. Yes. Harry. <laughs> You're getting the hang of it. Only a couple years later doing this gig. Thank you everyone for all your love and support. Let me tell you. Without test accounts, it's... Tough showcasing to the community what the newest and greatest, or maybe subpar characters, are capable of. All your viewership, your likes, avid viewership, the pushing our concurrent watching. All of you guys play a big important part to our community. So I really want to thank all of you guys from the bottom of my heart. Because let me tell you, it's expensive to keep up with this game and make sure you guys are well educated and well entertained with what this game has to offer. Maintenance fee for the Wookiee Wall of Democracy. Yeah, let's flex that real quick before we get started. Oh, by the way, we didn't have time to stream Grand Arena today. Sad face, but we did win. We're on a nine win streak. Not like we really count on that stuff. But, I mean, I know we're undefeated. That's why we don't need to count. But it looks like we got a ninth, row, a ninth win in a row for this Grand Arena season. Over here, we won as well. Tough matchup over here. 
tough matchup, but you know what? All is good. All is good in the hood. Let's showcase. I know we're going to talk about Grief Karga today, but man, you want to see my current arena team right now? Look at this arena team right here. Look at that. Clone Wars Chewbacca, guys. Holding down the front wall. Look at this. This is this is the great wall of democracy if I've ever seen one. If you're ever concerned about your galaxy safety, don't worry. You're in good hands now. This raid team's impossible to work without Chewbacca. I'm telling you. I'm telling you guys. So that's what's going on over there. But our main focus is going to be over here. I already kind of, uh, well, while Mobile Gamer was streaming, I figured I might as well do some multitasking. Already finished the Grief Cargo event. Took him the four stars. Unfortunately, I, man, I wish they would do what the Hux did, where you can get the gear 12 even at low stars. Not happening with Grief Cargo either. So again, for me personally, a gear 11 four star character might not be the best. But for a lot of other people out there who aren't competing at the very tippy, 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 tippy top of Galaxy of Heroes, this is going to be a fantastic character, I think. Oh my gosh, so much love going around. Caldi. CG should rename the Mandalorian to Mando. I'd be down for that. Mando. The New England Jeeper says, Apollo, thank you for the $5. Uh, imagine to Nicopolis. Thank you for the $5 as well, or five pounds. Hey, I don't love your content. Is it just more or around level 70? Is it harder to get credits and level up your characters? The credit grind is real for beginner players, especially free to play players. So you're feeling it. You're feeling it. You gotta level up those mods. You gotta star up your characters. You gotta level up your characters. You gotta gear them up. You gotta put the ability mats to them. There comes a point where there's no longer a problem with credits as much, but let me tell you, it's, it's an ongoing issue. Harry White, do the magic hand thing. We're gonna need a big time and CG will give us a guild sandbox mode. We can, we can always stay hopeful, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe they'll get the memo one of these days. It's not, it's cheap content to make, in my opinion. Cheap content. They say expensive, I say cheap. Lives of nine, thank you for one, nine to nine. I think we're gonna catch up with a couple more, then we're gonna get this Whale of Cory party going. Unless you guys think he might be viable at four stars. If you think he's viable at four stars, we can definitely try it out. I am gonna slap on the Zeta here. I think the Zeta, there's two Zetas on him. This one I'm sure is gonna be cool and all. But I only got basically two Zeta saved, and we got Mandalorian to test out this week. So I got to kind of save up some Zeta. So I'm thinking for today's testing, we're going to Zeta this up. This is how powerful Captain Rex's cleanse ability is. Cleansing is such a powerful capability, folks, that it's putting it's being put into a Zeta now. This is basically a Captain Rex ability, but with the Zeta. It's crazy. So I think we're going to do this. Bring him up. Try four first. All right, we'll try it. Not viable at four stars, viable at four stars. No, do seven stars. I don't know, we'll try. I, I think there's a chance we might be able to make him work again in, in four stars. Uh, let me see what we can do here. Let's start off with something simple. What do you guys want to see? I have Iron Dingo. He's going to be uh, helpful in setting up some defenses. What do you want to start off with a four star grief? We're not going to do Galactic Legends. Don't you dare say, oh, let's try Galactic Legends, right? We're limited on refresh, so we got to play it smart. So I'll try four stars to start us off. We'll uh, get the rest of his gear on, slap on the Zeta, get this party going. It depends what teams we want to beat, though. I, I, I would, you know, here's the thing that's kind of making me wonder. He's got this daze on his basic. Hypothetically, if we could try to daze like a B2, who knows? Start with Geos. I mean, we already kind of, all right, all right, all right. We'll, we'll do Geo. That's a good baseline test for us. Uh, let me reach out the iron. I believe he is watching today. I don't know if he's got the same name in chat. Let me Discord message him real quick. Uh, you get a moment. Drop in a Geo team for starter. All right. So we're gonna we'll try Geos. That's a good first place to start. Let me go ahead and finish uh, gearing him up all the way to the max for gear 11 because we can't get the gear 12, unfortunately. Uh, Embo Lee, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I gotta say, I'm really happy that you don't need any Zetas on the lead or unique ability. The, it's having Zetas attached to these means that he's gonna be great whether he's leading or whether he's not leading. So it's fantastic. Grand Bronze at five dollars. Thank you guys so much. And we haven't even started the full-on whaling yet, but you guys are already taking care of a good Porsche. I think we've already gotten a, quite a nice few uh, donations from you guys. Thank you so much. You guys are. Absolutely amazing. Commander Wolf. Yeah, I know. I miss, I'm missing a couple people. I'm going to catch up while I gear him up. Commander Wolf says, I missed this donation. Ramban says, Arnold, I need you to play the Mace Windu song. Oh. All right, uh, Rambam, you'll get your Mace Windu song today. You're Sith Lord. Peter Mayhew would be happy for the M-Bar. Good to see you today, Admiral. Great to see you as well, Sleepy. Thank you so much. 
And then, uh, I can't, where's, where's my boy, Commander Wolf? Commander Wolf, where are you, bud? Come on, there you are. Greetings, Great Admiral. Here's some money for you to make a cut out of me to keep Gary and Larry in, the, in line at the command station. You hear that, Larry? You were, uh, we're working on getting a Larry, but you hear that, Gary? Commander Wolf's watching you, man. He's watching you. He's keeping a close eye on you guys. All right, let's get this last piece on here. 50 of these bad boys. Fantastic. Matt Mora Borgart enjoying the whaling this week. <laughs> I'll tell you guys, it's never really enjoyable to whale. This, this game is so expensive to whale, but you know what? Here at the M bar, we got the, the credits to keep up with that. I think if this game had more to do, it'd be a lot more fun to whale, but it's like... I heard a little bit of Mobile Gamers rant today. It's like... When you don't feel like the, 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 the gaming studio putting passion into their game, it's kind of hard to enjoy the whale. All right, so Iron Dingo's got the team ready. So here's one of the biggest drawbacks. We can't put six dot mods on our character and that's gonna be a big downside. So we're gonna try to put our best five dot mods we have. We wanna make them as fast as possible. It's, there we go, 18 speed there. Wow, it'd be nice to put that 18 speed there, but we can't. Let's see what else we got. 13 speed, uh, 13 speed, 13 speed. All right, let's do that. Let's get that tenacity set closed up. Actually, maybe we'll do this here. Oh, it's like that'd be a, maybe a good mod to put on. Um, all right, we're missing out. We got to put this back over here. All right, 267, not too shabby, not too shabby. He's got a good baseline speed, even at gear 11. A pretty solid baseline speed. We can make it even faster. We can throw those six dot mods on. Crystal Piffy, thank you for the one pound, my friend. Thank you so much. And I think I'm caught up to a good majority. Oh, Mitch Shops, best car for you to whale hard. Ten dollars for Mitch. Holy cow, man. You're putting out big bucks on the line today. Thank you so much. And Dan Smith, his first time live. Love the content from England. Well, hope you're doing fine in England, my friend. Thank you so much. Let me cat miss Nikita Gorbatov while we get this party set up here. Now, before we uh, read you, Nikita, we always know you. We know you're one of the Kyber Club elite members here, elite VIPs. We always know who you are. Uh, one thing I want to put out: I am pumped when Mando comes to the game because if you guys saw the Cara Dune test the other day, remember how easy it was to trigger Django's contract? Well, Mando's not too much different from how to trigger the contract. It's got a little bit of similarity. I think we're gonna be able to trigger that Mando contract fairly quickly fairly quickly so here we go we're gonna try a four star testing with grief carga i mean three stars and four stars not that material of a difference you only can still go to gear 11 so it's not like we could do too much so what are we gonna do guys what do you guys want to try let's see let's compare the boss lead to our grief lead there, but where's grief where's that boy there we go all right let's let's compare their leaders real quick i think um I think uh, Bosk still might have that better lead. We'll see. 30% uh, max protection. Bosk has 50%. Uh, whenever an allied bounty hunter gains a buff, they recover 5% protection. When grief is in the leader slot and non ally slot, yada, yada, yada. Attack out of turns 20 times. It's going to be a lot easier to trigger, trigger Bosk, I think. Embo lead? Oh, man. Embo lead. Bosk lead is way better. Yeah, I think Bosk is going to be a way, uh, way, way better. Hey, Corey, you wailed as well. To get grief the relic too he looks awesome you should do a clip of arnold and him looking <laughs> locking wrist with predator love your channel <laughs> nice i like that and nick it's i don't want to forget you you're getting too carried away is darth riven's leader a uh, leader zeta worse worse anything nowadays oh worth anything nowadays sith allies i mean the term meter reduction i, I mean kind of it makes uh it makes it harder for teams like uh commander luke commander luke is a lot of term meter removal you don't want them removing term meter from you do you Still important. Terminator removal is a very important thing in the game. So uh, let's slap on the Zeta first. This is an incredibly important Zeta. I should have one Zeta to give the Mando later this week. I don't think we're going to have two for him, but this is the most important one. We, we got to throw that page. Puppy on. Beautiful. Zeta on sweeten the deal right there. Oh, man. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you all for the amazing support right now. Let's get, let's get a battle going. I'll catch up here. Uh, I'm going to try. Let's do Django first. I like the Django using Django up against up against these geos here oh let's see uh let's try igd let's try this first and then we can mix around with our bounties all right we got time there's no rush i see some embo leads in the chat I, embo leads very outdated it's it was never good we can try it but gotta keep on you need to put a contract together that's gonna trigger quickly and embo's lead's not a quick contract embo lead takes some time but i see some lovely people in here wanting embo we got plenty of time Let's get, do our first battle of the day, ladies and gentlemen. 
and then we'll get to some whaling later on we'll hold on to the whaling for the moment but don't you worry we're definitely gonna whale on this puppy to see what the seven star is looking like fantastic he's undersell this is why i think he might have a possibility of being viable at low stars here we go let's get some debuffs going all right here we go let's get an ability block all right okay so here we go we probably want to do a mass assist first we don't need the oh do you want to get the retribution up right now no that's got our health and protection recovery let's do our mass assist first let's do our mass assist first dispel all buffs on target enemy fantastic so we're gonna get around this taunt right here oh good couple hits right there fantastic all right, we're going to need to have Grief heal up in a moment. Not a good start. See, that's where Cara Dune comes in handy. Remember Cara Dune and her Terminator removal? That was, that's why Jango was so good up against Geos, because we had Cara Dune in this lineup. All right, let's see what we can do. Let's uh, throw some AoEs. Contract triggered. Fantastic. Awesome. Let's get an ability block over here. Okay, let's just keep throwing some AoEs out there. Holy cow, we're just blowing apart this team right now. Big hit. There goes Poggle. There goes Geo. Wow. Well... <laughs> <laughs> what does this unique ability do? Is it benefiting at all? So, uh, at all? At the start of each encounter, grief gains stealth. Each time any bounty hunter ally or a bounty hunter earns their payout, ally bounty hunters regu Wow, I guess that was helpful. If you notice, we were able to do Boba Fett's AoE twice because we reduced everyone's cooldowns by one, and grief also gains the falling bonuses, 10% counter chance, critical avoidance, and max health stacking. All right, well, let's... Uh do the mass assist now, because if we kill him off, we're going to get a bunch of bonuses. Basically, you're getting paid for doing the job. Bring him in cold, boys. There we go. I should have targeted someone else, but that's all That's all good. There we go. Wow. Holy cow. Grief Karga is kind of like the BB-8 of the bounty hunters. Wow. Okay. Well, that was pretty easy. That was pretty easy. And who do we... We had Cara Dune in that spot. And Cara Dune, we felt like we needed to have at higher stars. Well, that was pretty good. It's a good start, guys. We, let's uh, mix up the lead. Let's mix up the lead. Let's... Let's uh, let's try... Uh, let's try Boba lead real quick. Bounty Hunters. We'll bring Boba lead in. And uh, we got double mass assist now going on here. All right. Ready to try this? IG lead. We have a long time, guys. Don't you worry. We got a long time to test some stuff out. So if you want to cycle through some Bounty Hunter leads... All the better. We'll definitely try Grief lead in a second. I think Boss still has the better lead, but we'll try it out. Uh, let's see, make sure I didn't miss anyone. I definitely missed some people, and I'm going to try my best to get through. Martin Cannon says, Will Harder! Will Harder, my brother. Thank you so much. William Callahan. Uh, I got you, William, already. Lives at nine. Harry Y, I got you. Rogue Squadron. Will Harder, Grand Admiral. Donation for, this, for Chewy Zeta. <laughs> Man, I don't know about that Chewy Zeta. Relic 7 should be more than enough. Should be more than enough. All right, hold on. Hey, yeah, we got to play the Mace Windu song for Ram Bam, by the way. Hold on. All right, let's see what this puppy can do with Boss in a moment, but we got to for our boy Ram Bam. If you guys don't know who Ram Bam is, small content creator here on YouTube. Right? They're mostly on Twitch, I think, to be honest. Probably the biggest Mace Windu fan, at least for sure one of them, had that relics of Mace Windu for ages now and, and no love. So we're going to dedicate this song to Ram Bam and our fallen Mace Windu. On this there we go. But we do not All right, let's bring in Boss Glead. Embo lead for the win. We'll get the Embo lead. I actually geared him up just for this stream, so don't worry. Let's try this team out. Like the stream. That's right, Cody. Keep everyone in line. I, I'm expecting you guys to keep everyone in line. We got 5,000 people watching here for the party. Let's get that taunt going. Fantastic. Let's start going ahead. Put some debuffs on the field. Hopefully, we can try to get grief in here in a moment. Oh, not going to happen. Can't get that to that contract over there. All right, here we go. Let's see if we get some ability blocks. Grief, get in here, bud. All right. Oh, no ability block on Poggle. That blows. Come on, Grief. Let's do this, bud. Come on, Grief. Grief. All right, let's dispel that. See, Bosk is a little... See, we should have had our contract triggered by now. That's why Jango's fantastic against Geos. All right. You know what we're going to do, guys? We're going to just go ahead and maybe... Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Come on. Yeah, I don't know, man. Django's fantastic for these uh, for these Geos here. We should have had the... See, the, the thing is, you need to have a bounty hunter. It's going to get that contract off in like 10, 20 seconds. No, nope, not boss bleed here. No boss bleed here. Django was beautiful. Django was beautiful. Yes, I get it. I get it, Geos. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, no boss bleed. Let's try Embo lead because so many people are asking for it. Ram Bam. Thanks, Donald. Dope song just for you, man. I know it's rough right now. 
I know it's rough right now. No window anytime soon. Oh, what is it? Counter chance health steal. See, here's the problem. We're going to be stuck hitting a buffed enemy for so long. This contract's not going to get triggered fast unless we get grief. Yeah, you're not. No, this is not going to work. This, the the hive mind is considered a buff. I don't think we're going to trigger any con. I don't think we're going to trigger anything. I don't think we're going to have any luck with this because the hive mind consists. It's con it's it's called uh it's a buff. I mean, we'll do it. Um, yeah. <laughs> We'll do it. I, I'm just going to show you guys. I don't think it's going to work because I remember. I remember trying using Death Trooper against these guys, and you can't increase cooldowns because these are considered buffs. Watch. Hold on. Um, hold on. Let's just get some debuffs going first here for a second. All right. Like, we're, we're, first off, he has a taunt, so he's got... It's like, you can't... We can't... You can't do... No. Embo leads trash. I'm sorry, guys. It's not going to be good against Geos. No, no. We don't need the point of Garrison. Thank you. Anyways, Gary. Yeah, uh, Embo lead has never been good. It's too constricted. It's too constricted. It's too confined. I know it's cool on paper. It's just not a top tier bounty hunter team. Embo's a bad lead. It's just... I mean, granted, oh yeah, you don't need these basics. Right, I'll try one more time because I did misplay. I, I thought it was only basics that trigger it. You need to do anything. But as you saw, watch. You just got to hit an enemy with no buffs. These are considered buffs. I'm, I'm, this is a waste of two battles right here for Arena. And we only got so much. Nah, we're gonna get an ability block over there. That's unfortunate. Wow, look at all that contract momentum we made right there. No, not against this team. I'm sorry. Maybe against a different team. Maybe against a different team. For sure, not that. That was a waste. Uh, I mean, so far, we saw there's four-star viability of Django. We'll try, let's switch that, put Grief in the lead. I don't know if he's going to be as... He, he's kind of a, a version of Bosk in a way. Attack out of turn 20 times, so we have to get that Retribution out as fast as possible. Have to get that Retribution out as fast as possible and get the attacks out of turn. Let's try it. Let's give it a shot. Fight a different team, please. We'll do one more. So far, we know Django's going to do... Django's going to have a lot of fun of Grief. Out the gate, I can already tell that. So we want to get that taunt going. Here we go. Let's spam a special. We're going to get boss to attack out of turn or have everyone attack out of turn. Here we go. Probably going to put like Embo here so we can get rid of that taunt. That's fine for the time being. Ability block. There we go. Grief, let's get some retribution up here, bud. Or we get, let's actually get the uh, assist going first. All right. Assist going. 35% done at the contract. All right. We got rid of that taunt right there. Fantastic. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go ahead and throw up an AoE. All right, he's going bye-bye, unfortunately. All right, let's see if we can try to nuke somebody here. Big hit, come on, big hit right here. Oh, we got rid of somebody. Not what we needed, but let's get rid of this dude now. Oh, come on. All right, let's get some retribution up. Get some retribution up here. Oh, they're going after grief now. That's not fun. I mean, better than the Embo lead and Bosk lead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I, I got to say, I'm at least happy that Django is going to benefit a ton. We'll do maybe the Django battle one more time. Should go Retribution first. The problem is they're going to dispel it. They're going to, this lineup dispels it. So against this lineup, I would say no. Don't put the Retribution up too early because they're just going to dispel it anyways. Uh, Brood and uh, what's his face? Sunfax going to dispel it. Uh, how about a fight button on squads for Sandbox? Man, there's so many ways to go by Sandbox, but who was that? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Who was it? Oh, I just missed it. Hey, someone donated. Oh, geez. Well, some, whoever said, asked that, where were you? <laughs> I read a donation saying, can they just put a, a battle button? For, I don't know. They could do make they can make a sandbox, but they just don't, they won't. Matthew die, die in first time YouTube donation will for seven star grief. Bring him in cold, my man. You know how it works around here. You know how it works around here. Oh, Nova Lurker can't forget the million dollar question. How's the art? Okay, it looks like him, but my goodness, talk about grainy quality. I feel like my flip, my first flip phone that I got in like 2007. If I took a picture. It would look better than that. <laughs> okay, let's switch out the team. So far, we saw that Django is going to do fantastic with Grief against Geos. You only need four stars. I kind of want to see if Grief... Uh, what other teams... I mean, we could do Night Sisters. 
I mean, uh, yeah, they'll do nice. I want to. I really want to see if Bounders can beat Grievous. That would be fantastic. That might be asking for too much. Art right, looks all right. Yes, it looks like him, but in terms of like texture and quality, it's pretty darn low. Pretty darn low. So we're gonna do Night Sisters in here. We'll do like one or two more battles. Oh, Bounty Hunter Mirror Match. Yes. I want to see how that works out. I really want to see how that works out. I really want to see how that pans out here. Uh, while we wait for Iron Dingo to help us out, put a Night Sister team. And thanks again for all of your help, man. It's uh, We wouldn't be able to do this testing without an amazing community to work with here. Julia J, hey over there, my friend. Hey, because of your advices and tips, I'm progressing in this game so much faster and enjoy it more. Thank you. Well, Julia, it's my pleasure. I'm glad that some of my words can help make your experience a lot better in Galaxy Heroes. I gotta say, even if I don't, if, even if I'm not, if, even if I, I try my best to answer as many questions as possible, I know there's someone in our community that would help out too. So we're all here for you, Julia. If you ever got a question, we're gonna try to help you out as best as we can. That's that's what's amazing about our community. The Mace Window rework went out the window. That's right, Rambin. Thanks for the two dollars, as well as Jonabis with the one dollar. Do we have Night Sisters programmed? All right, Night Sisters. Okay, so I, I let me let me look at it this way. There's probably some people out there that are like, okay, Django's cool of grief and carga and all. I'll say this, top end meta, it's I mean, obviously the, the mid game meta is a little bit differently. End game meta, like where I'm playing at, not a lot of people use Django with separatists anymore. Because people are starting to put Watt Tambor in other lineups. Newt Gunray's not using Watt Tambor anymore. So for tippity top meta players, you might be seeing that already. So using Django back in a bounty hunter team is a great idea if you could take out Night Sisters with a four-star Grief Karga. Three-star probably would work too. But I, I probably, I can guess that some of you guys in chat are like, well, I still use Django with my Separatist squad. Let's try to see if we can maybe beat Night Sisters without the use of Django. We'll bring in Grief Karga. Question is, do I want to bring in Zam or Greedo? Let's bring in Zam. Let's bring in Zam here. Bring in Zam. We'll bring in Boss Gleed. So we'll, we'll go down under the assumption you want to still save Django for Separatists. Let's see what this guy can do. Zexual Beast, lovely name, $10. Hey, please give a shout out to Maxwell and Jackson, two younglings loving Star Wars. Maxwell and Jackson, hope you're having a great day. Shout out to you guys in front of almost 6,000 people hanging out with us here at the Kyber Club. Embo for sisters. Okay. <laughs> There's like this, there's like this cult that wants Embo lead to work. Embo leads is not that great. It's not that great. It's uh, we gotta be careful, guys. We gotta make sure we're uh, being efficient with all this. Um, we have to bring him. There's a boy. It's gonna be tough. All right, we got the health steal at least. We'll give it a shot. I know there's people that really want to see Embo work. Maybe we can make it happen. Luckily, there's not as many enemies. Uh, with the um, buffs, uh, Geo's Embo shuts down, and he just gets shut down against Geo's. All right, get our taunts up. All right, they're going all right, all all in on the boss already. Here comes the plague. We should be able to counterattack. Okay. Oh, grief is out of stealth. That's no bueno. You know what? Since they already did the buff the spell, how about we just get some retribution on us, and let's recover health. There we go. That's great. That's fantastic right there. It takes forever to trigger Embo's contract, Matt. You need to get contracts triggered asap -o. Uh, Let's just do this. Uh, for sure, ability block her. Oh, I probably should have ability blocked her. She's got the AoE coming in. Not the AoE, the mass assist. Oh, uh, Grief's under stealth. No good. All right, throw up the AoE. We're almost to the contract. Almost. 77%. Let's even get Embo to assist here. Nope. All right, here we go. Uh, whew. We're sticking in there. Oh man, can we get rid of someone here? This is probably not gonna work, but let's just give it a shot. Come on, boy, big hits. Ah, not quite enough damage. Oh, let's get some counters. There we go, contract triggered. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. I like it, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Look at Grief, he's ready to go. Too bad boss is probably gonna die out on us. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, I love this. We can use Execute back to back on Bulba, goodbye. Oh, yes, I love it. I love it. Oh, Grief, you're such a beautiful man. It's all because of the mustache, 100%. Look, Grief is ready for this now. Oh my gosh, what do I want to do? I don't want to do a mass assist there. <sighs> all right, let's recover some protection. Here we go, we got the assist. Oh my gosh, Grief is beautiful. Oh my gosh, we're, this is a 
four star Geary Love and Grief. No six that mod. They were taking out some Night Sisters here with an Ember lead. I mean, maybe we, let's see if we can make this work without boss. Because I know, let's say, oh, you want to use boss for a different lineup. Oh, this is great. I love this. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's just see if we can get rid of this girl. Okay. Counterattack. Oh, good, good, good. Uh, dispel. Oh, come on. Here we go. Okay. Let's get our... I think this is the second revive. There we go. All right. Counterattack, boys. Take her out. Oh, <laughs> yeah. All right, come on. We have to get rid of Daka ASAP. Come on. Ah. Uh, all right, come on. Let's stun her. There we go. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. Oh, look at grief, man. He's... Oh, no. Ah. It's falling apart. No, 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 no. Ah. Dang. All right, hold on. Let's see if we can try to pick this back up. We got to hit... Uh, we got to get rid of Daka, man. Come on. Oh, no. It was going so well. It was going so well. Let's see. It's, it's the Ember lead just is it's a little lackluster. I am surprised we got this far. We had a hard time getting rid of Doc. Oh, come on, get out of here. Look at look at him trying to stay up the staying up to the challenge. Ah, oh, it was going so well. Ember lead. Why do you suck so bad? We would. There's no way we're gonna execute Daka. A Daka. You understand how thick Daka is? You understand how thick Daka is? There's no way we're going to execute it. She probably has over like 200,000 health right now. It was going good. It was going good. But this is a Relic 6 Daka. You can't just casually... Yeah, her health was way over 200,000 at that point. Oh, it was going good though. Let's try something else out. All right, let's, let's try something else out. Embo, I'm... It was... I mean, let's give him some credit. We were able to keep up with the health stealing. What other bounty hunters do we have here? That was really good, though. I was enjoying what was happening for a moment there, at least. Dangar lead. I hear a lot of people saying Dangar lead. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I missed the, the, another donation here. Travis, longtime viewer, first time support. Well, thank you so much. This is the first time I'm excited by their kid in forever. Holy cow. Kind of for me, too. It's been a while since I've been excited for a kid. I mean, Sith Trooper's been cool. Does this mean bounty hunters can be more than a frontline GA defense? I think you're going to definitely have a good offensive bounty hunter team put boss can be back on defense and i'm trying to see if we can find a team that doesn't need these two and can do well what he has a health steal right mm-hmm oh man it's like the other bounties have such a lackluster lead let's bring in the this guy how do we trigger the contract damage the healthiest enemy 10 times oh that's gonna be like daka oh we're gonna be stuck behind the taunt for a little bit let's try this yeah. We can also try Boba Lee, that's for sure. Yeah, Dengar's got a bad contract. Uh, let's see what let's see what Zam has. It's been a while since I've goofed around with these. Well, okay, halt the protect recovery when an uh, enemy is dealt damage by a thermal detonator. Okay. All right. We can maybe make this work here. Or is it says Zami lead? Yeah, I definitely see a Zam lead potential here. Dinger's a little bit eh. 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 Let's just go bring him in. Let's just give it a shot. Let's give it a shot here. We're gonna bring in Greedo here. We're gonna open up. Ooh, horrible opening start. Oh. Oh. Alright, well, let's see if we can get this party going here. Just ability block her. There we go. Oh, we need to recover some health back, I think. Yeah, let's dispel our debuffs. That Zeta. There we go. Dengar's back. Throw this up. Okay. More. Yeah. There we go. Greedo. Look at Greedo. Rapid fire. Oh, we can't execute anyone. It's too early. You know, let's just... Oh, she, they gotta, she's gonna do a mass assist. Well, let's not do that. Let's just try to get some damage here going. There we go. All right. Let's get a mass swarm here. There we go. Come on, counter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's keep it going. Let's get our contract trigger. How much farther are we? Oh, God. I hate that. All right. 90% of the way there. We just got to damage. You just got to damage someone a couple times. All right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to just try to damage them. Almost there. Did I miss? Wait, how does Zam's lead work again? Hold on. How does her lead work again? Do I just have to damage an enemy? Oh, I'm an idiot. 
I thought you did the damage thermal detonators. So you can tell how often I use damn West. All right, we misplayed here. We have to go back and double check. We gotta, we're going to play this one again. We got to play this one again here. Hold on. Yeah, we misplayed that big time. Yeah, you got to. All you got to do is just throw thermal detonators. That's all you got to do. I thought we did damage thermal detonator enemies. So we misplayed. That was my bad there. I got to say, I've never ever used Zam lead personally for sure in the past three years. Never ever used it. It's a cool lead. I've just never had a use for it. Who else has, who else has thermal detonators? Hold on. Cad Bane, I think, is the only one left over. Let's stick with this team for a moment. We'll do bubble lead in a moment. I mean, I got to say, though, Grief Karga is definitely helping Pat. Oh, God. So that's why you want a seven star grief right there, first of all. All right. Well, let's hold my thoughts a moment here because we're getting a horrible opening here. Get an ability block. Come on, Zangar. Oh, well, that's and that's why seven star comes in handy. Yeah, we need the speed. Yeah, you need. I four star grief is doing some cool stuff, but let's not shortchange the fact that you yeah, seven stars up against these relic knights is are still going to be important. No Orly. I don't have the Zade on Orly. So at least here we get extra speed for each debuffed enemy. So that could be helpful. Bring out the thermals. Let's try this real quick. Would have spent a lot more money on game. Uh, Would have spent a lot more money on the game without your vids. Always awesome to hear your take. May my jobless gear 12 Mace Windu. Watch over you always. I mean, that's why I do because I know if there wasn't. See, Capital Games taking test accounts from the content creators doesn't really hurt me personally because we're still making videos. But without all these different people's opinions, making videos, it hurts you guys the most because a lot of people just aimlessly spend money not knowing how to good a, good a character is. So Capital Games is not hurting me that much. Even that might be that may have been their intention to hurt me and the others. I don't know. Actions speak louder than words, and lately I don't see a lot of action. So I'm, I'm glad it helps you out. That's the main reason why I do this. So you guys can see how good this character is at four stars and hopefully seven stars in a moment here. Uh, so let's jump into this battle. Johnny Tarvarian. Harvaney, I missed. I butchered that. Started to go for full Relic 7 Mastery like you encouraged. And uh, got Relic 7 Night Sisters for commitment, and no one even dares to attack him. Night Sisters Relic are scary, man. They are scary. Come on, let's get some speed in here. Come on, guys. All right. Ability block. Oh, we got a kid. See, Django and Boss have the best contracts. Like, if your contracts, like, watch. I'm going to throw Django in here. It's going to be a night and day difference. Django gets the contract off like in two seconds. It's like bada bing, bada boom, job's done. Let's get paid and take these people out. We got to recover health back. We got to recover the health back right now. It's like the like Bulba's contract is just a little too limiting for my liking. Here we go, more thermals. All right, can we? We're not gonna be able to execute anybody. Oh, let's just see if we could put a big hit on her. We're not gonna get rid of towels. And that's oh, almost gone. Come on. All right, uh, let's buff the spell. There we go. No Zeta there. Okay. Let's just go ahead and mass swarm tiles. We got to get this contract going. Come on. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right. All right. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I don't think we can get rid of Talzin. We can for sure get rid of Daka. Uh, not Daka. Asajj. Oh, I want to kill her off. Okay. Let's play it safe. Let's do an ability block first. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I was not expecting to kill off Talzin. <laughs> Grief Karga is unique, man. It's kicking in. All right. Let's go ahead and throw these thermals out there. Come on, let's go, Bob. All right, let's see if we can... Um, I kind of want to push back turn meter over here. Let's just push back the turn meter. for. Actually, let's just throw some more thermals out there. Come on. Look at Bob trying to hold on strong. Fantastic. All right. Let's recover some health protection for the moment. There we go. We got the tenacity up. Fantastic. There we go. Come on. Okay. We got to start... Ugh. Don't use that right now. Buff the spell. All right, we got to kill this girl off finally. All right, good, good, good. All right, we got to start hitting these thermals. That should kill off her for sure. All right, let's see if we can try to... We have to, we have to kill off Daka. Let's do this. Yes! Come on, don't die! Yes, 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 yes! Great! You beautiful man! You beautiful man! We didn't need... Bosk. We didn't need Django. Dang, man. Grief is... And look, we have a pretty good amount of health and protection back. Man! Grief, you the man! That that Zeta clutched us big time. Massive cleansing, health, protection, retribution, whatever else is going on. Big win, Bob. That's great in my book. 
All right, so we're hitting the 100 crystal time. Um, I like that. I like that so far. That's kind of, that's that might be fantastic. Uh, I kind of want to, do you guys want to see if that works against Geos? Do you guys want to see that? Uh, that might be tough because you got to kill someone off to get that contract triggered for Bob. We could try Geos because if that works against Geos, that's beautiful. Or do we just go straight to seven star and start trying to punch up the Grievous and stuff like that? There might be a chance we can make like Jangle beat Grievous with this team. But I think we're going to need uh oh yeah, give some credit to Zam Wessel. Zam Wessel is putting up the big sniping hits there. You or I don't have the Zeta. I can't do Aura lead. The Aura lead needs the Zeta and I don't have the Aura lead Zeta. I just don't. Regarding the last super chat, Night Sisters, bro. Savage and Maul, not Knights. Ah, oh, okay. Sith Mastery upgrade from Gear 12 to Relics. And that's an interesting uh, little project right there. I don't see many people go all Relic 7 on them, but that's great. You're getting use out of them. Yeah, Zam was like no scoping 316 these fools. Yeah, it won't work because Sun. Oh, no, not Sunpack. Would Sunpack go first? Darth Revan. Oh, that, you know, there might be Darth Revan potential there. You can't mass swarm on Darth Revan, but maybe you can like mass swarm Bass Lashan or something. Uh, all right, let's do seven stars. We're going to seven stars. We only have so many crystal refreshes. But so far, if you guys are late to the party, Grief works great with uh, Django. We've seen that. We've taken out Geo's pretty easily, but Django's pretty good without Grief before. But And then we see Night Sisters, ba Bob. That's kind of a weird thing to say. Uh, but it, ba Boba Fett, I think, was only able to really make that work. Zam Wessel for sure was part of the solution. But man, Grief Karga, this man. This unique ability is so good. Reducing the cooldowns, that's fantastic. And then getting all that stuff. And then, of course, that Zeta was very helpful. Getting the tenacity up, the, the, the mass dispel, the wretch. This is a great ability. Fantastic. Ability. This is only four stars. So, all right, guys. Let's pull out our Whale of Quarries. If you got one, now is the time to pull those puppies out. Everybody, if you have a Whale of Quarry, pull it out. If you don't, do the magic hand thing. You guys know what time it is. This is when we separate the the whales from the krakens bam you hear that <laughs> this ain't no this ain't no paper this is the real deal this is the real deal right here boys and gals all right everybody do the magic hand thing i don't want to buy any crystals today we have enough for one pack right now is this gonna be our 330 shard drop Mwah! everybody pass it around the kyber club everybody harry pay respects to the whale of cory the greatest Kraken of all time was slain by me, and this was my prize. The Whale of Cory's on our side. All right, guys. Quick shout out to A.A. Ranja Davey. Hey, long time no see. It's been a while since I said that lovely name of yours. I'm doing the slow grind of getting gas. Just need the seven star B when I rock my droids. Loving the videos as always. Love you, bro. Love you, A.A. Ron. Here we go. It's Whale. Come on. This is it. This is it right here. 330 shards. 330 shards. Come on. God dang it. All right, guys, we'll buckle down. This means we're in for a long pack opening. Oh, <laughs> oh well, it was worth the try. It's going to happen. I'm telling you guys, we've had it work two times for sure. I think there was a third time. Blaze the Saint is a rebel spy. No, Blaze the Saint. He's been a loyal Kyber Club supporter for ages. There's no way that's true. <sighs> All right. Here we go. Is, you know, I gotta say, I mean, you guys seem to do pack opens before, but we always get new people that show up and like, they're like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to get Mando. This is the realization. If you had never whaled before, get ready. The average cost, oh my gosh, average cost of a marquee character is $300. See, that's a good pull. If you got the money, I'm never going to tell you otherwise, but just be uh, excited. I'm sure Capital Games are licking their chops like, ooh. Mando's gonna sell big time, and I, if they do a, I have a feel, I, I, I would want to think that if they release the child, it's gonna be a legendary, I don't think a Galactic Legends, but if the, there's a chance that maybe they'll just go out and make it a, like, a marquee character, and there's gonna be people just freaking out for Baby Yoda, they're gonna be like, I need Baby Yoda, just be prepared to know what you're getting into, so $100 so far, so I already bought the $20 pack before the stream started, $120 so far has put us to five stars, Billion dollar game. Whoa, what was that? Seven? Seven, John. Jesus will help you, Jafar. Jafar says, thank you for the five Canadians right there. Come on, is this going to be it right here? Come on. Jesus, take the take the pack. Take the pack. Huh. 
Well, so far, $120 deep. What's that? That's the cost of probably two AAA games right there. Let's uh, get this puppy. To oh my gosh, I can't wait to put six dot mods. I mean, it's going to be so much better. All right, so slowly making progress. Slowly making progress. Let's get some more crystals. Thank you, everyone, for the support as always, man. It's just. Jeez, man, this game can be expensive. Rip, Rip Urza's wallet. Is Urza planning on getting these characters too? I think, didn't he do. I, I, I didn't watch his stream, but I saw in my sub feed he had Cara Dune. Uh, on his thumbnail. Did he end up wailing for her? I, you know, Urzatron's a big scoundrel lover, so I can see him getting these. But man, Urza knows. I, I've seen Urza wail here and there. It's not cheap. Can grief be used for the Chewbacca event? That is 100% the case. We can actually maybe at the end of the stream when we run out of attempts, we can do it just for fun. We can do it just for fun, guys. <laughs> that would actually be kind of interesting if we did that. The hall paid for it. That's great. Yeah, his hall always comes through, man. I'm glad, you know... It, Here's the thing. I know he doesn't. I, we talked. I think I talked. I talked about it on Twitch for sure. Urzatron. We had him on the channel before. The cool thing about Urzatron. Yeah, he's maybe not getting um, crazy views, but he's got such a, an anomaly when it comes to the streaming community in general. He's got such an awesome. I mean, let's be fair. Every person's community here in Galaxy of Heroes is amazing. Let's just let's just let's just make that clear. If you're in part of the Cubs fan, if you're part of mobile gamers scam gang of course the kyber club we got an amazing community and it's always great seeing urza and him telling me his stories about all of his amazing streams so yeah urza has got an amazing thing going on for him do you think they'll release the clone wars mall at some point <sighs> listen here's the here's what i'm gonna say you guys can list all the characters you want in game my friend by the way thank you for the two euros um any character could really happen the only character i've seen them shut down flat out is porkins Think of any character. They could add it. Number one problem for them is uh, timing. Timing is their number one problem. When do they time it out? And is it going to make money? I th like, here's the thing. The Clone Wars TV show right now is like bopping. It's like bopping harder than kids bop right now. Like this is the time to capitalize on a new Ahsoka, a new mall of some sort. These aren't spoilers. If you don't know Ahsoka and Maul in the Clone Wars, I don't know what to tell you, my friends. Like, I get them delaying Mandalore, and let's, I, I get that. Because, you know, they weren't sure if the show was going to be successful. At least they see it successful, and they're profiting off the success of Mandalorian right now. I think they could definitely make some money off a new mall or something like that. I don't know, what he'd just be a scoundrel, would he? Maul would be a scoundrel, I think. All right, so this is what, we're three, this is going to, we just bought a third Volt. So I think, right, it says $300. Let's see how many we're going to need. 12 shards. All right. Almost there. Seven shards. Come on. Come on. Watch. We're going to get 330 at the end. Come on. Come on, baby. Mwah. Almost there. Come on. No, just, I don't care. Better late than never. I can use the shard shop currency. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Just come on. Just give us a 330. Come on. We got all these people around the world. Around the galaxy, around the Star Destroyer. Come on, now is the time. Three thirty. Let's pull it. Come on, Capital Games. Hook me up. Oh. Well, there we go. We spent about. We have four thousand crystals left over. What is it? It's like I don't know. That's like forty dollars of crystals or something like that. Um, probably a little bit less than that. It cost about three hundred dollars just to seven star it. Now, if you actually want to use this puppy, keep in mind we made him work at low stars, which is fantastic. We made him work at low stars, but if you want to start using him at the big boy level, that's going to cost probably another 100 bucks right here. So usually, I have to set aside a $400 budget per character. Oh, come on. I got to... These things I can never find. Can never... Is Mobile Gamer in the chat? Wheel harder, my friend. MG in the chat! Did you just come in, man? You missed some pretty good low star viability for Grief Karka a moment ago. Pretty good uh, stuff. I can't. There he is. It? I can't see him. Where are you at, boy? Where you at, boy? I can't see. The chat's crazy right now. What up, Urz? Is Urz in the chat, too? I don't know. The Urz Club was great, guys. Do it again. Trust me, man. We can definitely do it again sometime. He's uh, always welcomed here at the Kaiba Club. Oh, God. No, I don't want to buy this garbage. Oh. Is there any other place where I can get this stuff? I don't have to, like, uh, I don't want to waste. No, that's like a no-no. We're not wasting currency there. 
Is this in the shipments? Can I refresh? I do not want to buy a hundred dollar pack. Mobile gamer scam gang. There we go. The scam gang. Don't forget GAC. I already did it. We, uh, we won my grand arena. Oh, I don't want to buy these trash packs here. I don't need. Okay. Well, this is easy to get. Oh my gosh. We're going to have to like prepare in advance for Mando. Oh, seriously? Like, how do you run out of this crap? I mean, you do. It's pretty easy to run out of this stuff. Oh, uh, all right. Let's just try to get the rest of these pieces. I don't want to do anything funny here. Should I focus on Night Sisters, clones, or Separatists? In my opinion, I'm not sure. It sounds like you're a newer player. Separatists first, Legion two. I mean, I made a whole video on this, my friend. If you're asking for like a farming guide, check out my video, Orlando. I put it out last month. I'd go for Separatist first. It depends. It, I don't know where you are, my friend. It's hard to give you advice. But if you're a brand new player, I'd say Separatist first. Come on! Give me the last piece. Night Sisters are good facts, but they're not really needed for anything big in the game except just being a solid team. Oh, God. I don't want to be $100 for just this pack because I... Oh, gosh. Oh, is this what we're going to... Are we going to have to literally buy this garbage pack? Oh, well, I guess we're going over budget on today's character. I wanted to spend $100 on everything, but I guess we're going to have to buy this trash. Okay, here we go. Let's just... <sighs> like, I like. here's the problem. These Mark V droid cards are useless at gear 12. You can't use it to get to uh, gear 13. Permission to whale on Mando. My friend, to me, he's going to be crucial for the bounty hunters. Mando looks to be fantastic, man. Mando's gonna be fun. I think Mando's gonna be fun. It's kind of like a Django lead to some to some extent. So I'm looking forward. I think there's a lot of potential there. Okay, here we go. Get these puppies up. All right. Uh, let's get this dude up and running. Oh gosh. All right, let's do this. Saw my PayPal. Well, there you go. Donate to my PayPal. How about that? So there's a. It's actually it's the same link as down below. <laughs> All right, come on. Keep this puppy rolling. That, yeah, that was probably the worst $90 ever spent. We did not need to spend it, but we just couldn't find it. We saw your PayPal. Yes, my PayPal is public info. You can go down to the video description and go to my PayPal. You guys are acting like it's... You guys found out my social security number or something like that. It's a PayPal. <laughs> Almost there. Come on. Come on. Just give me what I need. See, isn't it sad? I can't waste this currency. This currency is so important. Or, uh, who knows, they, they drop, like, Baby Yoda inside of the, uh, that shipment there. So, like, I, so I got a Mark V droid collar. It's useless because you only can use salvage here. It's so trash. Trash, trash, trash. There we go. And let's save some crystals. All right. Well, you know what? At least we didn't need to spend more money. Oh, I love this relic piece. Look at this relic piece right here. Look at that relic piece right there. That's fantastic. I like that. It's when Mando shot him in the chest. It's great. The gear grind is real. Hey, 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 Martin, I appreciate the $4.99. The Capital Game says they're easing the gear crunch. You've seen their little graph with no, like, X and Y axes. It's just a little line that shows it's steadily going up. <laughs> oh, man, that's hilarious. All right, well, here we go. Let's get this boy to Relic 5. Let's go ahead and uh, pop this baby, see what he can do. What is, what's his uh, relic do? Uh, health steal. That's great. Eh. Accuracy. Eh. Accuracy's kind of lame. Battle without relics. What's the point of going to gear 13? We're only going to take him with a relic 5. I'm not going to relic 7 him. Stop wailing, please. Ewok, I'm doing it solely as a business expense. Don't tell me how to run my business, boy. There are thousands. Listen, Cara Dune alone had 74,000 views just on the live stream. People want to know how good this stuff is. Someone's got to make videos on it, and right now nobody can unless it's just a random whale out there. So somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to do it. Listen, I'm not. Listen, if I wasn't making videos, I would not whale on this game. There's no reason to whale on this game. There is just no reason to. I do it solely so we can hang out together, find out what these new characters can do. My pr like, I don't whale because it's like, oh god, I can't, I can't play this game. It's like. There's not a lot of reasons to wait on this game unless, number one, you're probably making videos on it. Okay, let's keep it going. Let's see what mods we have left over. Let's put some good mods on him. Let's make him super fast. He should be a fairly fast character. He should be a fairly fast character. 
Um, uh, bu 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 oh, un uh, un unassigned. All right, we're not gonna use Captain Rex today, most likely. I don't want crit damage. Uh, I want like survivability on this dude. A lot of crit damage mods. Holy cow. Let's do this. Let's go ahead. And I like the tenacity and speed combo going on here. I don't want crit damage. I don't want crit. Jeez, a lot of crit damage here. Protection. Oh, let's do protection. I like protection. We don't, we're not going to use brood today, so we're going to take that off him. Uh, defense, sure. 22 speed. Protection. We're not going to use Darth, uh, Darth Revan. Captain Rex. Here we go. Uh, and then let's see. Do we have a tenacity set somewhere? Here's what we can do. We'll do this. We'll take this from Darth Revan. And then we'll go ahead and slap on a tenacity speed up here. No, 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 no. We not have a... No. Go away! All right. Give me a tenacity. Uh, beautiful. Thank you, Han. Oh, a lot of defense. That's kind of nice. All right. Wow. 330. He's a fast boy. No tenacity? Why not? Do you want him getting stunned? He can't... If he gets stunned, we're in trouble. If he gets stunned, we're in trouble. Dude is destroying his mod sets. Don't worry. I have everything saved. Don't worry. It's easy to put it back in place. Let's get some Babu Frick up in here. My thoughts exactly, Jira. There, thank you so much. Let's go ahead and get some Babu going while we get this party started. 3.30, man. That's, that's a big difference between what we had before and what we had now. All speed. We have all speed. We got the speed set. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. We got the speed cross on there. Or uh, speed set. Let's see if I can make him even faster. Hold on. Let's see what we can do here. Oh my gosh, I thought of a good Django combo. This is going to be pretty darn fast. Hold on. Let me see something real quick. Let's organize by speed. Can I make him any faster? All right, let's try this. All right, it's not going to be that. It's only going to be one more speed difference. All right, I like what we have here. Let's see if we can take out Darth Revan. Iron Dingo, my friend, are you watching right now? He's in my Discord. I'll let me reach. I want to put, let's put in, let's put in Darth Revan. We used to be able to get Maybe. grief Maybe. to outrun Darth from the fastest Darth Revan in the world, like 350 something. With the Jangle lead, grief should be able to outrun. Under a Jangle lead, outrun a Darth Revan team. Man, grief is a. I'm having a lot of fun. Oh, we have a team right here. This has got what? This is not a normal set. That this is your Ray counter team right here. I want a proper Darth Revan team. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Really interesting. Hey, a Far Cry, shout out to CG for running Rebel Run up before releasing Mando. Yeah, actually, I'm happy about that, right? They're not going to let you play as Mando. At least you can use Grief, right? Those jerks, we could actually, you know, test them there. I don't know what they're doing. I thought it was funny. No, I'm not happy. To, I thought it was funny that the, they're doing Rebel Roundup before Mando comes out. Oh... Read his payout. Oh my gosh, you got a lot of people screaming at me right now. Let's read his payout. I don't get what. Uh, yes, I know what his payout does. What do you guys want? Okay, I see you guys want you guys want him to get debuffs. Okay, fair enough. I see, I see, I I see the Kyber Club statement. And I concur. Let's mix it up. We'll take Darth Revan's health set. So if you guys are wondering why we're doing this, the Kyber Club, I think correctly pointed out maybe we actually want him to get debuffs. Because once he has that payout, he's gonna be able to reduce his cooldowns a lot if he's getting debuffs applied to him. I'd say that's a good call out. That's a great call out. So let's actually uh, not have any tenacity going on here. All right. I'd say good call right there. And we made him slow. Seriously. Oh, God. oh I hate mod streams. There we go. I got some mods I could delete here. Uh, all right. Come on. That's I don't need to delete a whole. There we go. Good call out, chat. I like that. I like that uh, call out. All right. So we got a Darth Revan team. I'll, I'll, we'll see in a second, but I have a feeling if there was no Sith Trooper, I think we can turn one like Delete Bass LaShawn or HK or something like that. Um, Sith Trooper is going to stall us out a little bit. 
That's why I, I think Sith Trooper's still the best Darth Revan team. Sith Marauder leaves them open for you to do whatever you want at the start. So here we go. Let's get our bounty hunters lined up for action. We're going to bring in Grief. We should be able to outrun this opposing guy here. We'll bring in Bosk for the taunt. Bob. Who do I want against the Darth Revan team? Maybe like Greedos. So we can be like, boom, boom, boom. Taunt. Okay. Buff the spell. Embo. Let's do it. Okay. All right. We have two mass swarm attacks. We got to get that taunt off a of Sith Trooper. Got to get that taunt off of our Sith Trooper. Well, not ours, but theirs. Okay, let's get it going. IG for health stop. Uh, we could definitely drop it. I think I, we need to buff the spell of some sort. And Gr Car Grief is the only one. I kind of want to have a double. No Embo lead. We're done with the Embo lead. <laughs> we got a little... We, have a, we had a baby amount of success early, but not too much. All right, so we're going to do this. Ooh, do I want... Let's, let's get rid of this taunt. Let's get rid of this taunt first. Let's get rid of this taunt. All right, let's get our, our taunt up here. All right, we're, let's just start working towards our contract. Let's not critically hit him. I've never really done bounty hunters against Darth Vader, so we might need to take a couple of practice takes. Let's just start. Oof. Yeah, I don't want to get stuck behind Malik's taunt. Okay. You know what? Let's just start smashing AoEs here. I think uh, we're going to get stuck behind this taunt. I've never... This is this is kind of new for me. Doing bounty hunters against Darth Revan. Something I would never really expect him to do here. Let's do this. Alright. I need a strategy here. That The Sith... Here, let's just for fun. Iron Dingo. Just for fun. Can we put in Sith Marauder? Because Sith Marauder, you have a whole... It's I could just go mass swarm someone right away. Uh... It's going to be tough with Sith Trooper. I think Sith Trooper is going to make it a lot more difficult. Let's see if we can... You know, hold on. Uh, I don't know if he took the message yet. Let's try it one more time. Because I don't want him wasting crystals. What's our attack strategy for Darth Revan here? Shout out for New Zealand. Favorite YouTuber here. Keep up the great content. Well, you might just be my favorite New Zealand Kyber Club member. I don't know. I, I know like five New Zealand people in chat here. <laughs> if you're from New Zealand, now's the time to come out. Embo lead! Everyone's screaming Embo lead. Ha! <sighs> All right. Embo's best. I know Embo's basic removes buffs, but you have to have them. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not sure how I want to go about this battle. It's like I, we need to get around that taunt right now. Did I just start an Embo cult? Yeah, we have an Embo cult in the chat for sure. Gar Saxon lead. Embo lead! The thing is, you understand, once Corrupted Battle Meditation comes out, so we're not going to be counterattacking. We're not going to be counterattacking. All right, let's try this again. Let's get that taunt off of Sith Trooper. Uh, you know what? Maybe we just mass swarm assist now. I don't know. We have no debuffs here. Yeah, I don't know. We, we need debuffs. Jangles leads having a hard time. There we go. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's double tap her for a moment. No crits. All right, fearing everybody. Sith Trooper makes this complicated. Sith Trooper makes this very complicated. Anyone who tells you, oh, don't use Sith Trooper Darth is an idiot. Only reason not to put Sith Trooper in a Darth Revan team as if you're using him for like a second team in Grand Arena or something like that. But the Citra makes these so much more complicated. It's like when we did, uh, what's their, what's, what's their face? Uh, Jedi training rate, the resistance heroes. You can beat Sith Trooper, but man, Sith and Marauder makes it so much easier. You can just go straight to Basil Shan right away. You need boss lead to stay alive. All right, we'll give it a shot. I just really wanted that extra speak. So I don't know if we're going to have grief outrun Darth Revan now. Oh, you know, maybe he's only 327. We could try it. We could try it. Bring in Bosk. I mean, let's keep on. We're, we're, we're battling a top five team here. So I'm not expecting it, but it seems like on paper, there should be some combination where we can make this work. Bring an Embo in here for the buff the spell. Of course, uh, we need Grief himself. 
obviously you need to use Emble lead against Darth Revan. Need a handicap to make it fair against me, Admiral, right, Darth Revan? We need that Django speed to make sure we jump ahead of you. Use Greedo for the debuffs. Yeah, it's, this is tough, man. I honestly don't know. I don't... Stop at the Aura Sing. I see a lot of Aura Sing. I don't have Aura Sing ready. Yeah, Aura Sing's not going to be helpful. You need anything with Aura Sing. And she's... Remember what I said earlier? The Zetas on Grief are perfectly placed. I don't like where Z Aura Sing has her Zetas placed. Greedo for turn meter reduction. You can't remove turn meter if they have debuffs on them, though. All right, let's maybe try something like this out. Buff the spell. She should be fast. Ah, not fast enough. We need the Jangle lead if you want her to go before Darth Revan. Hmm. A lot of debating going on in chat. I'm just trying to see which one I like the most out of all these lovely ideas here. Windu lead. <laughs> Okay, here's what we're going to try to do. Uh, people are saying uh, it's going to be... I, you understand how much remodding I got to do if I want to make Greedo go before Grief? I'm not doing all that remodding. Getting Greedo to go before Grief, that's a re, that's like at least a 20-minute remod for my whole Bounty Hunter team. We're not doing that. Not going to go all in on that. Uh, you know what? Uh, I think we might just... I, I got I got. We, we have so many limited attempts. We might just have to just go ahead and... Uh, oh, he put Sith Marauder in there. All right, let's try Sith Marauder. Because people do put Sith Marauder or Darth Revan. Let's try Sith Marauder. Then let's try a different team. Because I gotta, I gotta, I gotta think of how to go about the Darth Revan team with Sith Trooper. It, it's gonna be a, that's a little tricky of a turn order. It's not. That's gonna have me thinking for a little bit. So at least now we can go all in right away on Bastion. Yeah, Sith Marauder is gonna get ticked off. All right, let's get. Uh, you know what? Should we just get Bosk to just get the mass swarm going now? Almost there. Come on. Almost there. Oh, can we get rid of her right now? Ugh! Well, the basic dude, we had this is our last chance to kill Vasa Shaman before Darth Revan unleashes his fury. Oh, fingers crossed this has enough damage. Oh, not quite enough. It's like, it, actually, it's a night and day difference with this combo going on here. Night and day difference with this combo here. At least we had got some good looks. We could work with something like this here. We could work with something like this. Okay, let's go back to the drawing board. I'm gonna put. Do we have? Do we have Greedo in there? Maybe Greedo with his multi-tap action could take out Basta Shine. That's this is a Relic Seven Basta Shine. Or take out Embo. We don't need Embo anymore. Embo's not helpful. All right, let's put in him because at least he can. Embo or Deng or uh, Greedo or Dengar here should be able to make be something more helpful. We need someone to help get some more assisting out there. Yeah, Embo is useless there. Let's try this again. Hold on. Let's try this again. All right, we're gonna start the mass swarm. Good start. Oh, that was not amusing. Uh, all right, Greedo. Let's see if we can get some good hits in here. Almost there. Oh, look at Greedo. He's going to town. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, come on. Oh, no. It's so close. It's so close. So close. Okay. Oh, hey, we killed her off. We killed her off. Okay. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Let's work with this. We can work with this. We can work with this. We can maybe work with that there. The reason why I won't, I don't want to taunt with boss because I don't think I have enough time. All right, let me go back and rewatch the footage. I don't think I have enough. The thing is, I need, I need that mass swarm attack. And every time we've been doing it so far, boss has not had an opportunity. Let me go back. I'm rewatching how the turn order works. Hold on. Give me a second here. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Hold on. Okay, actually, I'm wrong. I think I'm wrong here. I'm re-watching the footage. I think we can... Hold on. We, we can maybe taunt... Yes, let's do that. I re-watched it because you need to make sure someone smashed the special. Okay, do we do we like Greedo here or do we want to go with Dengar? Let's try Dengar for a moment. All right, so we should be able to have the turn order work still. We're going to start off with this. Okay, we'll taunt. Django should come up here. Big hit. 
Aw, oh, seriously? Seriously? I'm trying to test something here. All right, we contain the fear. All right. Let's get this. Let's keep this train going here. Basilashan's ah, the pick. That's like the second or third biggest threat on the team here. That was a good opening start. Good opening start. Luckily, Django and Bosk worked that out perfectly. Let's see if we can uh, throw some debuffs up. All right, boss taking a punch there. All right, here we go. Cleanse time. Cleanse, cleanse. Ah. Oh. There might be potential here. Might be potential. Might be potential. At least we killed the Basilisk Shadow was like the first target. Maybe if we would have killed, uh, get that. And then I think even if we didn't get dodged, I think we still would have been on the same track. Either, I think there might be some combo there we could work with. I'm going to put a pin in that for later. That opening move of Grief Karga is so powerful. All right. How about we do Separatist? Let's try Seppies. Grievous. We're, we're going to just try to punch up at these bigger teams that we see. There's potential there. I'm sure once uh, I sit down with it more, goof around with it there, you know, we have these bounty hunter fanatics out there. I'm sure there's a combo that's going to happen there. There's going to be a combo. Let's try uh, a Grievous Separatist team. The, the, the question is, do we want to do Newt Gunray in the last slot? Watt Tambor? Uh, do we want to just do Droidica? What do you think is going to... You know, let's do... I see a lot of Watt Tambor. Let's try a Watt Tambor here. I think Grievous as Watt Tambor is probably the most popular variant I see people be used. Cad Bane for the win. Embo lead! <laughs> It's hard to tell if people are serious about Embo lead right now or if we just started a meme with the Embo lead cult. Because everyone just wants Embo lead to work. All right, so he's going to program that. Thanks again, Iron Dingo, for spotting us here with all this testing. Uh, I think uh, there's going to be someone's going to find a combo for the bounty hunters of grief again. Maybe, who knows? Maybe it's going to be Mando. Because think about it. If you can try to get that contract going right away, he could, could Mando disintegrate Darth Malak if that's the case? I think if we can maybe get a contract going right away, we should be able to disintegrate some of Mando. Now we're thinking a little bit uh, too far ahead of ourselves right now. But uh, it's something to keep in mind. GAC when There is no Grand Arena today. I won my Grand Arena. I did my Grand Arena. I got to like have like a frequently asked questions like tab. I, I see like 500 questions about Grand Arena. No Grand Arena today. I, I won my Grand Arena on both accounts. Uh... New character testing takes precedence over over a um, Grand Arena. Just didn't have time for Grand Arena streaming today, but we won nonetheless. Hashtag Embo lead. We'll give it a shot. Uh, maybe Embo lead against Grievous could be something. I, I, I'm gonna keep my my I'm gonna keep my heart open. We're gonna maybe see if Embo has a chance. He was close to Night Sisters. Maybe there's a misplay. I don't know. I think I'll back and check it out. Scrub Gamer. Maybe Grief lead of Boss. Greedo, Dangar, and Boba, or switch Dangar with Django against what type of team you think in Scrub? Just in general? Maybe. All right, so there we go. All right, so let's put it out there first. We are going up against a lower Watt Tambor. Not everyone has a seven star Watt, but I just, let's put that out there. Still a tough team. Watt just needs to get that tech out. So what do we want to do here? Come on, come on, billion dollar game. Let's stick with our Django lead for a moment. Do we like this combo here? We'll try the Embo lead. We'll try that Embo lead, okay? We'll, we'll, we'll try it in a moment. But I want to try a legitimate Bounty Hunter team first. Let's start off with this. Let's start off with this puppy here. Why not Grief Karga lead? Because Django's... You need a contract to go off quick. I don't know how much I like Grief Karga's lead. We'll try it. But I think I, I, I like Django's lead so much more. It's the be it's the better of the, the leads in terms of getting a contract going ASAP. Let's try this out. Let's try this puppy out. You know, let's play some Grievous songs while we do this. All right, Watt Tambor is going to start this puppy. Uh, I don't know if I want to get the Retribution up now because uh, he's just going to take it away. Let's save this ability. Let's just go ahead. Bring him in cold. All right, do your debuff things. Okay. Cleanse. Let's get our taunt up. Great. Uh, let's stop B2 from getting bonus terminator. Does he have tenacity? Crap. He has probably tenacity on him. It's gonna be tough to land a debuff on him. 
All right. All right, come on, Grief. We need you, buddy. Come on, Grief. 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 Watt Tembores makes this so complicated. Yeah. Let me check their B2. It's going to be tough here. There we go. Uh, bye. I'm not seeing it here. Good grief here. So far, it seems like uh, the bounty hunters are going to have a hard time punching up to those more top tier teams. Night Sister, Geo's no problem. Grievous and Darth Revan's, but I really want to see them punch into a little bit. Way better than... Uh, thank you for the 999 X, X10G pancakes. Way better than Cubs for Han. Always complain. Well, you know, it's coming from a place of love for Cubs. I don't consider it just... He's not complaining all the time. He's, he wants this game to be better. I do too. You know, it's just... He's... he's I, 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 you know, here's... I think I probably... I just... I'm at a point where it's like I'm used to what's going on in Galaxy of Heroes. I'm making the most of what we have and hoping for the best for the future. But I know where Cubs for Han's coming from. He's not... He's, he doesn't want to be a negative Nancy. It's just that's how the game is right now. It's just how the game is right now. Grief and Kara? Okay. All right, hold on. Let's do this. Let's bring... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's try bringing Kara into the mix with that turn meter removal. Uh, let's take out Dengar, maybe. Where's my Kara? Where's my Shakara? Shakara? Okay. Ooh. This is a weird team right here. L3 for the, uh, an extra taunt and cleanse. Everybody's going to be cleansing. You know, I like this. I'm going to just go with my gut for a moment here. I like this right here. We'll do the chew even at the end just for fun of Grief Cargo. Okay. All right. I, I don't know how I, I just, I think for some reason L3 was calling to me for a moment. It was just calling to me for a moment. Let's just juice her up here. All right, good. Let's get a second taunt up. I need to get debuffs on B2 to stop the bonus turn meter. There we go. That was beautiful. I need debuffs on this dude now so we can get some debuffs going or the contract going. All right, let's see if we can push back some turn meter on Grievous. There we go. Fantastic. But we're still stuck behind this taunt here. Maybe we got to take out Watt Tambor. <laughs> Don't need that yet. Juice up. All right, she's maxed out. Heal up. Yeah, we're not going to get around that Watt taunt. We just, we're not, we're not right now. It's just impossible for us. This is going to be a tough cookie. There we go. We got that. Yeah, that Watt taunt, a, a huge problem. Yeah, we can't get around that taunt with Django. Yeah, this we did like nothing against the team. They're at full health and protection right now. Yeah, well, that's going to be a tricky variant for us to beat here. You need a buff immunity? Uh, do I need the bounty hunters offer a buff immunity? I don't think they do, do they? Bounty hunters, who's got me a buff immunity? Bob, do you have a buff immunity? I know you have a buff to spell, but I don't think you have a buff immunity, do you, bud? No, you have healing immunity. I need buff immunity. All right, I'll bring in boss lead. But the problem is boss is going to have a hard time, too, getting that contract uh, going. And we have no way of controlling Beast 2's turn meter now. Jedi Knight Revan? Uh, maybe? I mean, I don't really see a lot of Jedi Knight Revans anymore on defense. So I don't know if that's worth our uh, very... Oh, em fine. Embo lead, my gosh. <laughs> Embo lead! All right, let's take you guys out. I don't like you guys in here. Embo lead, all right? Here you go, Embo lead. Have you tried having Django faster so you can have the mass assist uh, with the debuff? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I follow. He's already fast. My Django's pretty darn fast already. Pretty darn fast. Okay, we need to get to this dude. It's not. We're not. His contract is just not gonna get off here. Wow! Look at all this counter attack here. Wow! Look at all of our counter attacks, guys. That Embo lead is so. It's so lit. Look at this Embo lead. Dang, is Embo lead. We are done with Embo for the rest of the, the stream. Embo lead is banned from testing. It's trash. 
Ember lead is trash. If it wasn't maybe connected to the fact that you have to hit someone without buffs, I think it'd be a lot better. But the fact you have to wait for someone to lose a buff, that's like hard to do nowadays. That was a waste of crystal attempts right there. Oh man, and what to, how do we work around that what like you that's why I was hoping for Django lead to work because once we get that Django contract to trigger, we can start running circles around everybody. I'll try him one more time. We'll try uh, him one more time here. Let's get as many debuffs on the field as possible. Ability of blocks, we're gonna need it. We'll try it. Embo lead is yeah, it's very trash. Embo, get off my lawn! That's right, King James. Mobile gamers got beef with the Jawas. I got beef with the uh, Embo lead now. No sense throwing that up yet. We need to get a burning going. Come on, Django. All right, let's get some burning. Reduce uh, max health on Maggie. There we go. Burning. Fantastic. All right, let's get a taunt. Ability blocks. All right. Let's see if we can put ability block on B2. Hopefully Watt. There we go. All right, 25% into the contract. Here comes a mass swarm. All right, all right. We should be getting close. Should be getting close. Oh, we're good. Oh, they're back. Okay, they, they need debuffs. Need debuff. Oh, 65%. All right, let's do this, Grief. Oh, almost there. We're all, we got to be so close to a contract right now. Come on, so close. You got to be close here, bud. Oh, 95%. Oh, we have to do it here, don't we? All right, let's see if we can hurt. We're going to reduce this cooldown, so might as well use the execute. Okay. Contract triggered. Let's get some bounty hunter resolve on these boys, Django. Let's land some ability. Actually, let's put an ability block over on Grievous. Hopefully, that gets on uh, B2 as well. Great. All right, come on. Okay, Bob should come back. All right, all right, all right, all right. The question is, do I want to nuke Maggie right now? He's going to get revived by what? Hmm. <sighs> Oh, I don't know what I want to do here. This, we're making baby progress. Not a, We need boss to get Bounty Hunter's resolve for me to feel good here. All right, we're going to try to nuke Watt out of here. Oh, we're going to get blown out of the water by Grievous, though. Someone's, we're, we're just going to get blown out of the water by Grievous. Oh, there goes boss. He never got his Bounty Hunter's resolve. Oh, boy, he's going to get another AOE. Go, uh... Okay, hold on. Let's see, if, let's see if these fools can take it home. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We got work to do, boys. We got work to do. Let's see if these fools can take this home. Get me some burning. Fantastic. It's not going to stick on Grievous, unfortunately. Come on. Oh! Come on. Come on, boys. Ah, okay. He's coming back. He's coming back. Oh, boy. I'm sorry, Django. You're not coming back for us. At least we got Bounty Hands Resolve. All right. Okay. Oh, come on. It's too bad. Okay, he's got protection. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Got it. Oh, ho, ho. hold on. Almost there. Come back. Come on. No, oh, I wanted Django to get the B1 kill. I wanted Django to get the B1 kill. No. Oh, I wanted Django to kill off B1. Hey, this is cool, though. We got something to work here. Yeah. Almost. All right. How do we? How do we? How do we work with this, guys? How do we work with this? Who was the weak link here? Who was the weak link here? That was good. I, I mean, I see all the other guys talking about other leaders. Jangle Fed has the fastest contract. We'll try Zam lead. I see some people screaming Zam lead. Ness for buff immunity, but Ness is used for everything. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hold on. You want Ness? I'll bring in Ness. Let's do it. We'll bring in Ness. Let's do it. Uh, let's, uh, that was pretty promising. How do we build upon that? All right. Too bad you can't call in scoundrels to assist. Oh, man. If Ness could assist us, that'd be fantastic. Here we go. Okay. We're going to get a taunt going here. Django, let's get some burning. Fantastic. Put burning on B2, please. Ah! Burning on B2 means we're going to have a rough battle. Uh, we have a chance for days, but we needed the burning. Come on, Ness. Get in here, girl. Come on. Ness, come on. Ability block, B2. Okay, we got that. I was hoping for Grievous too, but it's all right. Ness, let's go, girl. Come on. I need a daze. You're a pretty fast cookie. Ugh. Ness. Daze, girl. Girl, 
I know you got some speed on you. Wow, well, welcome to the party nest. Population zero for the bounty hunters. All right, we're getting into our 200 Chris refreshes. We have probably like 10 more battles. Let's be... Oh, she's actually fairly... Okay, sorry, Ness. You're modded pretty slowly. Let me remod my Ness real quick. I thought I had my faster mods on her. Let's try this again for a moment. Uh, no, no. That was my bad. I, I have my Ness modded for slow. You guys know why you want to mod Ness for, sl for being slow. Let's try to fix her up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Fine. Let's see. Let's get a tenacity set on her. Crit chance, offense. Uh, sure, why not? All right. Okay, she should be a little bit faster. All right. Now we've... Ah! I hate mods. Mod stream. Oh, I have to level these mods up, don't I? Oh, that could slice up to something. Ah. Seriously? CG, man. You gave you I have a, this mod inventory is the same as it was back in freaking 2016. 2016. You'd think at this point they would they would help me out with uh all right, you know, I know an easy solution here. Hold on. Let's just put some mods on a random character. <sighs> you know what? Don't ever do this. I'm doing this just because I'm getting annoyed. Never just delete these mods until you level them up. I don't got time for that right now. We got a show to put on the road. Embo modding time. <laughs> the Embo cult is at a peak right now. Get rid of boss. He's bad. I don't know, man. That mass swarm from boss could be helpful. Wheel. Dangar lead. I don't know about that. Uh, we'll come back to grief lead in a moment. I'm going to try this now that we have a faster nest. We need to like slow. Once we slow down B2, we'll be golden. We need to slow down B2. Here's what I'm going to do, I think. Let's not do the mass swarm right now. Let's just do this first. Oh, come on! The whole point of me doing that. Oh, tenacious B2s, man. Top 10 biggest pains in Galaxy of Heroes. Burning, please and thank you. Reduce max health watt. There we go. All right, we got burning at least. All right, ability block, watt, and hopefully B2 as well. No, nope, no B2, of course not. There goes the mass cleanse. Yeah, that ta that tech on IG, man. Any debuffs you apply are going to be so temporary. Are we almost to a contract? I don't know. Let's see if we can stun this dude. I actually stun Grievous. All right, it's not working out. What Tambor with that tech? Watching from the outer rim, Embo lead is more like Embo lead uh, lead the metal. What <laughs> Embo lead the? I don't know what that means. Question: Have Gear 13, Relic 5, 3 PO G tier, and BB8 next to resistance? 1,000 percent resistance hero Poe, resistance hero Finn. 1,000 percent. That can beat Darth Revan teams. Bound hunters barely attack on a turn. Grief lead doesn't seem particularly useful to me. Yeah, that's why I don't want to waste it on um. My attempts on man are briefly. I don't see it really for these type of teams. Ness made the team worse. Yeah, I don't think Ness was helpful there. Oh, yeah, let's see. Uh, I can't wait to see Grief and Manda. I think Grief and Manda are going to be a really deadly comp. I mean, if you're coming later into the stream, the beginning part of the stream showed some really good stuff that Grief can do at low stars. We're trying to punch up a little bit. like doing a whole stream against Geos is not going to be the most entertaining thing. Uh, there's got to be something here we can do. Dangar lead! Everyone's screaming Dangar lead! Alright, Ness, you lost your job. Ness lost her job. She's not getting it back. Alright, Dangar is Zam lead. I am open to. Minus 50% critical damage. The problem is, though, I just don't want to get stuck behind Maggie. At least if Django fit, once you get that contract triggered, the taunt at Magna Guard is irrelevant. Completely irrelevant. Test against JKR. I don't know how helpful that is. I mean, if you guys want, we could switch to JKR. Cyber 301st. Sorry, Great Ammo. Gotta go. Thanks for sticking around, my friend. Take it easy. 
Johnny, 100% 100 sure Mando or Grief needs Mando alongside. Oh, for sure. But as we've seen earlier, Grief Cargo works very well without Mando against Geo's Night Sisters. But I, I'm getting, I'm trying to get us to a whole other level with this team. Whole other lead at this. Do the worst player and see what happens. Zam lead again. All right. We could try Zam lead. Get those thermals out on the field. Is Bosk helping us out? Probably not. We just go throw as many thermals out as possible. I don't know how I feel about this. We'll try the... Chew Listen, if I see 10 more questions about doing the Chew event, we're not going to do it. I said we'll do it at the very end of the stream. We got This is more important. Doing the Chew event of Grieve Cargo with Gear 13 Relic 5 characters is not helpful. It's going to be fun to try it. Don't get me wrong. I want to do this first. But we will wrap up with the uh, Chewy thing. Boss lead for tenacity and heal. The problem is we're never going to get that contract trigger when we're stuck behind Magna Guard. Never. Never, never, never. Have you tried Embol lead yet? <laughs> Chewy event question mark hashtag Embol lead. You guys are now you guys are getting cheeky at me. All right. Diamond Eye, he wants to go back for Django. I like that. I, I really like I jade it with Manda or uh, Django. IG88 for the AUEs. Okay. Bounty are already a content. Ice. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm not saying that's anything new. But it made it a lot easier. And we did a Boba Fett Lee. We didn't do it. We didn't do it Zam Wesley. We didn't do it at the uh, Boss Lee. We didn't do it Jangle. He beat Night Sisters, Relic 7 Night Sisters or 6, something like that. With Boba Fett lead and without Django and Bosk. That's pretty big right there. That's pretty big right there. Alright. Get that mass swarm going here. Come on, need some AoEs. Come on, come on, come on. Burning, please, on B2. There we go. Maggie's just going to go ahead and cleanse all this in a moment. Not going to matter. Hi, JD. Want to join us? All right, let's get some AoEs going. We got to be close to a contract here. There goes Bob. Oh, not a good pretty sight here. Okay, we're going to have to nuke him out. Yeah, let's move the chains. Let's move. Let's we'll try Jedi Knight Revan. We got close one time, but that may have been a little bit of luck. That may have been a little bit of luck. That's what we had uh, earlier. We got down to Grievous once, but that may have been luck. We have to review that footage later. Oh, people want to see Jedi Knight Revan. Fine. I mean, I don't know how practical that is. I, maybe some of you guys see Jedi Knight Revan still. I don't really see Jake here on defense anymore, unless someone just wants to be a jerk and do all out defense. All right, we're going to get a JKR team in here. Padme? Oh, I don't know about Padme. There's too many attacks on a turn. GG with Juridical. I mean, yeah, I mean, let's keep in mind, Watt Tembor really complicates things with that pre-taunt. Uh, if we have time and enough refresh, I, I, I'm, uh, I'm inclined to maybe try Droidica in that spot, but I don't know if that's going to make too much of a difference. Upgrade Embol, please. <laughs> He's already gear 13 with six dot mods. <laughs> We only see JKR on defense. On, oh, yeah. If you're watching mobile gamer streams, it's a whole different story, then. Arnold, you can beat Darth Vader and Bounty Hunters and a three-star Grief Karga. If you got, if you got the, the secret recipe, feel free to let us know. No Zeta, though. I'm not... <laughs> we're not giving Embo the Zeta. <laughs> All right. We got a Jedi team. This is basically what you see against Jake uh, Grievous teams. You Knights. I mean, you guys know this. Line. You've seen me use it all the time. All right. Uh, how fast is this team? Well, we I, we should be able to maybe go first here. 294. I think we should be able to get Grief to go first. Let's check it out. We'll take him out. We'll keep Dangar in there. We need Bob because we can slice away all those debuffs that they're going to bring in front of us. Bring in Bosk. All right. That looks all right. Get seven dot mods. We need seven dot mods and Embo. That's what we got to do. <laughs> Uh, only Embo can carry. Look at, look at, we have so many Embo loyalists in the chat. All right, let's try this out. Need, need a drink out of some Beskar juice here. Mm-hmm. 
All right, well, let's get this uh, triggered here. Let's just go ahead and... Uh, ooh! Uh, let's, let's take off the tenacity on Yoda. Oh, wow. That was fast. That was really fast. All right, let's do this. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do a special right now. Boss should allow us to come back in here for another... Oh, come on. Come on. I was hoping that would get uh, Yoda to trigger the savior. Okay. Going after Bob. That's... Uh, I could live with that. Hopefully we get a nice execute on Yoda. All right, here we go. Let's throw up an AOE. We got a... Bob should be able to get a good kill here. Oh, we don't have execute. That blows. Well, we got to hit some debuffs here. Okay. Let's cleanse up boss. Got our retribution. Oh, he's the only one of debuffs. We got to try to double tap his booty. Jolie Exotic over there, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to come back. I know, I know. But we got to get this contract going if we're going to survive this. Oh, boy. Someone's going to die here. Goodbye, boss. Holy cow. Can you kill off Yoda? <laughs> nope. Yoda's not going to die here. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Boss lead? Bring in boss glee. Let's do it. Bring in the boss glee. The problem is I just you gotta we're gonna we're gonna they're gonna outrun us now, I think. Switch it around. Boom boom. Use Kara Dune. I don't know how she's gonna work in this team. You know, well we could um Yeah, we're not gonna geez, that took a moment to get out here. Alright, well let's try to cleanse. Get Django the... Oh, that's the wrong ability. Oh, well. All right, let's get a taunt. I messed that turn order up here. We needed to do a special ability right now. Oh! Oh, we'll roll with it. We'll see what we can get. We're going to roll with this. Of course, we can't get to the debuffs there. Healing up a little bit. It's okay. There we go. A little bit more heals back. We can't get to Yoda. Still can't get the Yoda. Get rid of the foresight. That this is the ability I needed to use first. Dangar, you're making this a lot harder. Yoda, I actually both of you guys, Grief and Dangar, making this a lot harder than it should be. All right, Yoda, come out of stealth, dude. Come on, stop being a chicken. Now they're going after grief. Yeah, I don't know. Ambo lead! You guys cracked me up, man. You guys cracked me up. I mean, the, here's the thing. These teams might not be designed to punch up higher. Right now, it seems like Geos and Night Sisters are kind of the highest these guys can punch. Grievous, uh, it's going to be tough. JKR, I mean, I don't know how practical it is, but that's going to be tough. Darth Revan, that's tough. So we're, we're trying to battle these S-tiered teams in Galaxy of Heroes. I know I did a slight misplay there with Django and not having him cleansed up by grief. I don't know if that's going to make that much of a difference. Should I get Zetas up first, says Wolfie Dolphy, or get multiple teams' abilities up? Also, what's the best... Fo stay focused on one like set of teams at a time. If you spread yourself too thin across like five teams at once, it's going to be hard building up a good team. Focus on one team. Once you got the core Zetas, work on another team. That's the best way to go about it. If you stretch yourself too thin, it's going to be impossible. Just let Ember lead. Battle Newts and Separatists. I mean, that's not that impressive. Go against the Empire. That's really not impressive. <sighs> Try Bounty Hunters versus CLS or First Order. Yeah, I'm just kind of scanning your comments, seeing which uh, Jude Django again. I mean, we could try. You know what I'll do? Because I, I see people, they, they're just demanding Embo to return here. We got to buff this spell. Screw having Bosk. 
Although I do miss him already. I don't know. Let's do this. They don't revive from Jangle. They'll still get Savior. They'll still get saved. All right, here we go. We got to just get this triggered ASAP. Oh, here we go. Mass Swarm here. Almost there. Uh, we'll get the pre taunt going. Fantastic. Reduce max health. All right, J boss will come in. Get the Savior triggered. All right, Savior's triggered. Now we got to make sure one of the Fets take him out. Got to make sure the Fets take him out. Oh, of course. All right, come on, boy. Take that off him. Oh, no. Oh, Django, this is supposed to be your kill. Ah. Dang. Oh, if I do this, he's just going to... Well, let's get the contract going, at least. Okay, well, let's start trying to work over here. Okay, we're going to have to take him out again, aren't we? All right, a fat. We need a fat of some sort to take this guy out. Come on, Django, somebody. Hey, look at that action, little action right there. All right, here we go. Come on, come on. All right. Take that off. Let's get a fat to kill him off. Come on, a fat. I need a fat. A fat. No, that's going to kill him off. Is Django going to get out there in time? I hope so. Uh, he's got battle meditation. Let's just put this over here for a moment. All right, come on. Taunt. Django. Django. Django! Holy cow. I'm working with some idiot bounty hunters right now. Well, can you do it now? Well, you know, better late than never. Better late than never. Now we got to try to carry this without him. But you know what? Maybe we can make it work. I needed that to happen a second ago. It had to happen a second ago. If we would have taken out uh, Yoda, let's try it again. One more time. Come on, boys. I think this might be the last five. I don't know how many more attempts we got here. Was Embo helpful here? I mean, he took off a few foresights. I don't know if he did much else beyond that. Here we go. You know, Cad Bane, you got mods on you, kid? All right, he's got something. He's got something. Stuns. You know, maybe we can just get in there. We got work to do. Jeez, it's a horrible display for you guys to get work against Jedi. So far, people are only going to hire you to take out Night Sisters and Geos, it seems like. There we go. Okay, good start. There we go. Please hit... S you know what? It okay. Mass Swarm here. Stun him. Okay, almost there. Bob, Bob, Bob. I need Bob to get in here. Bob, this is your kill. Oh, is he, uh, we have to go for it. Yeah! There we go! Give a round of applause to Bob. He took out that dude. All right, all right, all right. Let's see uh, if we can do that. That's Yeah, that was wishful thinking against him. Okay, we can work with this maybe. Okay, we just got to get a contract trigger. We need some debuffs going. Let's cleanse up the team. Let's cleanse up the team chat. Baby progress here. Making baby progress. Uh, get rid of the foresight here. Counter. All right, taunt. Good. All right, all right, all right. Uh, Jolie's going to counterattack, but I think I, I'll live with that. You know what? Let's do this. Let's just do that. Get some more debuffs on the field. There we go. Come on, mass swarm him. Come on. Let's go, boys. Almost there. How much closer? All right, this should be it. Contract triggered. They're ready to get paid. Bam! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's how we do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not coming back from the grave. I li I'm liking I'm liking this guys. I'm liking this here. Okay. Cad Bane actually did work here. Uh do I, let's just you know what? Let's get another taunt. They lost JKR, so we're good. They're gonna be stuck behind boss for a while. Yeah, heal up. <laughs> Woo! This is good. Bam! Just gotta make sure a fet takes the her out. Go! Oh! Alright, we'll come back to you in a moment. We'll come back to you in a moment. I don't want to kill you off just yet. You know what? It's okay. We'll, we'll kill you off again. All right. She actually, there we go. Oh, seriously. Come on. Django, somebody. I don't know who killed her off. Uh, obviously, it wasn't a fet. But I think we got some in the bag nonetheless. Let's reduce Jolie's max health. Okay. Come on. Oh, there we go. Goodbye. Bam! Hey, I like this. There we go. 
There we go. This is definitely their biggest team they're able to beat today. Well, let's see. We might actually... The beautiful thing about Grief Karga, we can maybe go against Jedi Knight Revit and get 60... This is... this In Grand Arena, this is technically a 60 banner win right here. 60 banner win right here. Wow, that's a... I mean, Jolie is going to... You know, Jolie's pretty exotic, so it might take a moment. This would... 60 banners with bounty hunters against Jedi. That's pretty impressive. You just got to get that contract. Once you get Yoda out of the picture with the fat, we're good to go. All right. Yeah. Yeah. 60 banners against that. That's fantastic. Stunning cleanses. Yeah, the, the cleansing. The grief is great, man. I'm Grief is a solid character right now. I mean, if I had to rank him, it's probably at least the B grade character in the, in the game. At least to be. I don't think he's A, a tier for sure. Not A tier, but he's just too constrained to bounty hunters right now. But just doing some great stuff. Rest in peace and believe. Cad Bane did some good work there. Cad Bane was actually very helpful there. Wow. All right. That was pretty good. That was cool. So, so far, Night Sisters, Geos. I think there might be something of Grievous we can do. It wasn't, we didn't finish it, but there's probably something there to look into. Jedi. Uh, Shock T clones? All right. Oh, yeah, we got a mirror bounty hunters. Thank you. I always forget. So let's get. All right. Let's see. Okay. Hold on. Uh, can you put in a BH? All right. So people want to see this. I don't know if this is really the best use for grief. Like if I was going to use grief in Grand Arena, for sure, I'd probably save it for a Geo team, Night Sister team. And if there's a random Jedi team, maybe we would do that. But the reason why some people want to see Grief Karga against a mirror match bounty hunter is, um, where is that? Each time any bounty hunter earns their payout, allied bounty hunters reduce cooldowns are reduced by one. So we're getting bonuses every single time, even opposing bounty hunters are getting a payout going. So I think that helps out the real. So what that means, ladies and gentlemen, is that if, if other bounty hunters are doing better work than you, He's going to try to help you keep up with the payout that just got triggered over on the opposing team. Do grief versus gas. It'll be the counter you never expect. Nova Lurk, if I had a lot of attempts, I would I would do it just for you. But we only have like a few more left. Uh, not my best team, he says. Um, do Django lead, I guess. I don't know. You know, let's do Boston because that's going to take a while for us to get through. All right, so Iron Dingle doesn't have a great bounty hunter team, but so this is just for fun, just to see if we can maybe get their payouts to go first. We'll try to stall it out, let them do their thing. But it should be interesting. Cup with grief is the best counter. Oh, you guys are funny. Blaze is saying, thank you for the two uh, dollars earlier. But glory to the Kyber Club, Nova Lurker wants us to counter gas. I don't know if this is if this is gonna be the. I don't know if this is the way to the gas counter. All right, so we have a bounty hunter team. It's all right. It's not the greatest of all time, but I just want to see how this works. Okay, let's actually put, let's put a really trash lead in, like the trashes of trash bounty hunter leads. Hmm. That guy. <laughs> so I kind of want them to get their payout going. The opposing team. I want their, them to get their payouts going first. Uh, I don't want to. How, well, it's like a crappy. Let's put, yeah. You know what? Let's just let them do their thing. Hopefully, hopefully we don't lose because I want to see us get our contract off. But we're just gonna do it this way. Oh, it's gonna, his contract's not gonna go off, is it? That was a low blow. <laughs> so we're just gonna do this for fun. Uh, let's just. Uh, I need to buff the spell. I guess we'll bring him in for the buff the spell. All right. So we got triple buff the spell. Let's see if we can. I, I just. Oh, he's being attacked. Oops. I think Iron Dingo's uh, being battled right now. Hopefully he's not gonna be knocked down. Oh, it looks like someone's hitting Iron Dingo. That's no bueno. He's going to get knocked down for sure. All right, I guess we're just going to have to wait. Um, let's see. Please don't knock him down. All right, let's see who's knocking him back. Come on, finish it off. How 
long does it take for someone to battle a bounty hunter team? This is why we need a sandbox mode. I know, right? It's too, it's too hard. You know, they're like the kings of reskinning content for Galaxy of Heroes. Reskinning characters. Like, you know how many characters have duplicate animations? Like, did you guys know? Fun fact. HK47's animations. Uh, I think 80% of them are just the same as Magma Trooper. But... They can't reskin Squad Arena and just populate it with your 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 uh, your guild. Isn't it funny how things work? Isn't it funny how things work? Come on, we gotta get this going. All right, we're, we're, we're obviously we're being stream sniped right now. Somebody's stream sniping us right now for sure. There's no way someone's gonna take a full five minutes to, to fight off Iron Dingo. Oh, isn't that beautiful? I wonder if it's this guy. <laughs> I know it's not Donima for sure. Might be. I don't know. He, he already had his... Uh, I don't know. But maybe. I will see. There's no way someone's taking a full... There we go. We're in. All right. We're in. I don't know what was going on there for a moment. Okay. So let's try to get their payout to get triggered here. Let's try to get their payout triggered here. Uh. All right. Fine. Let's try to make some work towards our contract let's do this let's go for the easy kill all right all right so i i, I want i want him to get his taunt off so we can delay this as long as possible all right let's not kill off him yet Ugh. come on don't i don't want you killing people off there we go there we go oh crap <laughs> don't win embo i need you to lose all right, okay, all right. Okay, are they gonna get a contract though? Come on, trigger the contract. Trigger your contract, boss. Come on. Come on, trigger your contract, boss. All right, they got their contract, so all of our cooldowns should be reduced right now, right? Okay. All right, so. We're trying to can't keep up with them. It's like a bounty hunter showdown. It's kind of like what we saw in, what was it, episode four, three, of Mandalorian, I can't remember. It's basically just like that. All right, well, let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can maybe uh, mass storm this. Actually, let's cleanse up first. All right, great. Ability block. It's gonna be tough hitting this dude. Look at the power of Embo lead. Granted, I was trying to let them win, but still, my gosh, it's gonna take us forever to get this contract to go off here. Here we go. Oh, come on, seriously. All right, we should get our contract off here. Let's see if we can try to Turn the tide in our favor now. There we go. All right, let's do this. There we go. We're gonna get any counters here? Come on, buddy. Here we go. There we go. Hey, oh, hey, oh, ho, ho. Grief Karga, the gunslinger of the holla tables. All right, come on, Grief. Let's see you guys pull this off. Bam, he's gone. All right, 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 all right. Let's see if we can try to dwindle down Django Fett so we can get maybe an execute, maybe. Counter. There we go. Come on. Oh, Bob, this is your opportunity. Hey! Hey! Counter! Counter! All right, let's heal up. Wow, we really turned the tide. That Grief Karga unique ability or his, uh, is just really just... We totally full swung this whole battle. Totally full swung it here. All right, let's see if we, I, wow. We basically like 3v4 this team. Let's see if we can get through this dude now. As long as Bob can keep up with me. All right, let's heal up a little bit. There we go, almost there. Almost there, come on, don't die, don't die. Don't let boss heal, counter. Look at this. How the, how the turntables, there we go. That's an intellectual right there. So again, I don't know how practical this this info is to you guys right now, but you guys kind of saw how that uh, bounty hunter showdown works. We put in a bad bounty hunter lead, 
we purposely kind of let them get their contract going first and then we completely 360 i actually tech i hate when people say i 360 in my life no you 180 that you flipped your life around and we kind of turned the tide back in our favor that was fun that was like literally a bounty hunter showdown yeah yeah embo is somewhat successful again i don't know if you're gonna go out and do this there's better teams to counter boss i think without having to worry about other stuff uh so all right what do we else what else do we want to try in terms of arena battles we're almost about the max on our refreshes here boss the dead crocodile do we want to try to go back to grievous maybe with no watt timber maybe just go with a traditional droidica lineup or something like that embo lead embo zeta no i appreciate the two euros we got to save zetas for uh what's his face Man uh, mando later this week shock t clones all right shock t clones I, i've been seeing that question a lot that's actually maybe kind of helpful there's people that don't see gas but we'll see that all right uh, i see some comments about we'll try we'll try shock t clones we could try cls gg with no Watt. i kind of want to try gg with no Watt. we could try that and we're going to do the chewy event at the end don't worry the Embo joke is now dead. It was funny before, but rip, right? Yeah, mic is glitching. The problem is when you got a wireless mic, sometimes it gets a little, little crusty. You just gotta stop touching the cable. We're good. Padme? Uh, I'm trying to... Uh, Bounty, uh, Padme is always a... You know what? We could try Padme. We'll try Padme too. Hopefully we have enough attempts here. I hope we have enough attempts. Padme... Padme's a tough cookie to crumble, man. Especially if the attack's out of turn. I don't know. This is a good team right here. How fast is this? All right. It's all right. Extra 35 speed for the clones. Captain Rex should go first here. All right. So let's go back to... Uh, what? Uh, do you... See, I, like, I love using Django Lee, but I know some people are like, oh, I don't want to use Django. I want to use uh, XYZ because they want to use Django on a different team. I can't... We're just going to do Django for the time being. Uh, I like Cad Bane in here, to be honest. That was very helpful. I'm going to try to stay easy on the AoEs here. We need ability blocks for sure. Embo never dies, haters. Embo or Chewy Zeta, choose. Ro Rogue Squadron for two euros. You can't make me choose between those two, man. How about I... Uh we got to do Mando testing this week, man. I got to do Mando testing. If I had to pick one, it'd be Embo probably for sure. Okay, let's just do this. Uh, we got buff the spell so we can try to deal with all the... I, I want a mass... I want a second mass assist, man. I really want a second mass swarm. You know what? We're going to bring Boss in. Just for the heck of it. This is a, Shock Tees are teams you don't want to screw around with too much. All right. Send them on in. Let's see what we got. Shock T, the one and only. Man's not hot. Rex is going to go first. No way to outrun that, unfortunately. Oh, boy. There goes Embo. <laughs> oh, my God. They're running circles around us right now. Oh, we got to get some retribution on here. All right. Oh. Not a good start here. We're going to give him all the retribution in the world. Shakti's going to get turn meter. Let's get a mass swarm here, hopefully. No buff the spells anymore. Shakti is a tough cookie to crumble. Yikes. The problem is now, now you got Captain Rex to deal with. Yeah, yeah, that was horrendous. That was horrendous. I mean, geez. Shakti and the clones, that's a baby gas team. That is a baby gas team to beat. I don't know what combination could beat that. I don't know if I want to redo that battle. We got completely obliterated right there. Completely obliterated. Yeah. I don't know if we want to waste any more attempts on that. I don't even know if Boss Glee's going to make a difference, to be honest. That team is just so wicked fast and high damage. All right, we can do CLS. <laughs> that was really quick. <laughs> that was, uh, I don't I don't think we're going to mess around with that too much. That was just that we got blown out of the water right there. We'll do CLS, and we're going to try to squeeze in a Padme battle. We can't do too many repeat battles. I really want to try to battle Grievous again without Watt. There might be something, because Watt made that battle complicated. That Watt made that battle really complicated. 
CL has an Embo lead. <laughs> well, have I tried Grief lead yet? Yeah, here's the thing. I don't know where I uh, like Grief lead. Attack out of turn 20 times. See, you gotta, I think this would work up against a team that doesn't have an AOE buff this spell. Because once that retribution gets pulled off, you're in trouble. Because you can't counterattack. How are you going to attack out of turn 20 times? That's the main problem I have with this. It's, I know this is probably a, a, a bit of a bad idea, but like if he had an undispellable retribution up, oh boy, that would be deadly. <laughs> that would make his lead really good. That would make his lead really, 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 really good. Yeah, I kind of want to try, but I, we're just running out of attempts here. Uh, you know what? Okay, well, we'll, we'll, we'll try it against CLS. He's putting in a CLS right now. Uh, mm, all right. He's, he was asking me a question about what team to put in. Yeah, I mean, the multi-attacks too, but we only have two multi-attacks. We have Bosk and Grief, which only gets us 9 out of 20. The rest of the time, it's like, all right, well, how are we going to get to the 100% contract after those two mass swarms? So that's kind of one of the problems that I, uh, I have in mind is that, all right, well, okay, cool. We're going to get the two mass swarms out. That's not a problem, but we're not even halfway through the contract yet. So then you got to hope that the retribution carries you the rest of the way. And the problem is against B2, he's going to take away the retribution. That's no good. Asajj takes away the retribution. Geo's teams, they're going to take away the retribution of Sun Fact. Shock T, Echo's going to take away the Retribution. CLS, the Wookiee's going to take away the Retribution. So that's why we have a, a, a couple of issues. But if we can have people attack out a turn, like some people are pointing out in chat, that would help out a little bit. So we'll try it. Grief, double hits here, hopefully. A grill here, not helpful. Uh, let's try it. We have double taps, double taps. He's a double tapper. Let's try this. We'll give it a shot. A Greedo would be great. Yeah, I don't know where to fit Greedo on this team. Maybe take out Boba Fett or Dengar. Okay, so let's get a mass assist going here. We got to get rid of Chewie. You guys know how this works, but old Ben's going to get ticked big time here in a moment. All right. Oh, boy, this is not going to be good. We're not going to do it, AoE. That's going to get us killed here. Here we go. Let's just uh, get some debuffs on the field. There we go. All right, all right. Oh, Dengar, is a he's out of order right now. Come on. Old Ben's not good. Yeah. Oosh. All right. He's almost gone. All right. Let's cleanse. Fantastic. All right. Here we go. Take him out. Take out the Wookiee. Bam. I mean, this is a good CLS team. Again, I don't know if CLS is... I mean, I, I saw CLS on defense today in one of my grand arenas, so... I'm not going to say it's you don't ever see it. They do show up once in a while. But like, look, we still have not gotten the contract to trigger off yet. I don't know if I will. I don't know if, yeah, like Django, we would have gotten the contract trigger off. If we did Boba lead, we would have gotten the contract triggered off. Granted, we have some survivability, but I don't know if uh, Grease leads offering much. See, we're still stuck behind this taunt. But... This is my concern. I don't know how I feel about the, the grief lead. He's a great character. Don't get me wrong, but I just don't see. Uh, I'm not seeing his leadership being the best of the bunch. Like we're basically waiting until we get a uh, more retribution on the field. And we're also waiting for another mass swarm here. There we go. There we go. There's an attack on a turn there Two. There we go. 55% of the way there. Uh, can I just new con solo? No. Oh. This should have been a one battle. Grief's lead was the thing that held us back. Grief's lead held us back here. So, we got to switch out the lead. That's a, this is the demonstration of why I don't like the Grief lead much. Boss could have been better. Let's switch out the leads. Uh, that should have been a win right there. Got to use man yeah, Boss. Yeah, I mean, there's too much going on with uh, the, uh, the, the, the mass assist. You, just, you, there, you guys saw it. We got the mass assist out, but then we're just sitting there. We're like... Twiddle deeding our fingers, just waiting for another mass assist. Just a little, yeah, so it's just like, eh. 
boss leader jangle lead would be the better way to go up against uh that team there i think actually bring in jango back in here i think like this would be fine i think greedo would be cool too but you know i think we're gonna just roll this this is a great team right here now we could maybe try to beat this team without oh that's a deadly opening there here is what we're gonna do we're gonna just go ahead let's clean up jango oh i keep using the wrong ability i keep thinking i'm so used to captain rex's middle ability being the mass cleanse we butchered this whole battle already oh what a waste of an attempt here uh, I keep thinking the middle ability is the cleanse, and it's not. It's the other way around. Like, we should have cleansed there. Django would have gotten AoE, so we kind of butchered this part up here. Yeah, we butchered this up big time. Big time. All right, here we go. Let's do that again. All right, well, sorry, Django. That was my bad. My bad big time there. All right, let's see if we can maybe just start pulling off... Uh... Yeah, we missed. We misplayed that big time. Because, you know, Captain Rex is a uh, cleanse in the middle ability. There we go. He's gone for. Come on, grief. Let's uh, get some work done. Get a daze. No daze. All right, AoE. Yeah, I butchered that play a big time right there. Big time. Oh, Chris, the refreshes are so limited on this account. Like, why? How is it we have a cap on how many arena battles we can do? Like, like ah, oh, that was our last battle today. That sucks. Like, this is really dumb. Like, uh, this is such an outdated arena format. Why is it Kappa Games like, no, you're done playing our game for the day? Like, not many people are maxing out crystal refreshes. If I wanted to spend another 5,000 crystals testing out this character, why are they stopping me? Why are they stopping me? Like, this is such an, uh, a stupid format. If you don't want to give us a sandbox, but at least lift off the, the number of attempts. Uh, that would be helpful if they would have done that. Well, I, we learned a couple things today. I think we should have beaten that Commander Luke. Tim. I totally bo botched up that uh, that last battle there. Another time we could try it out. But so far, Low Star Grief Karga was very helpful against Geos and Night Sisters. It was actually really cool. If, you, if you're late to the stream, go back earlier. Boba Fett lead, no Django, no Boss. With Four Star Grief was great against, uh, what was it, Night Sisters? I think we beat it. We, yeah, it was fantastic. So that was great, because then you have Django and Bosk for a whole other bounty hunter team for defense or something like that. Do Django, Bosk, Nest, and L3 or something like that to slow down a CLS team, and that was pretty cool. So Grief Karg is pretty cool at low stars. We'll do the Chew event just for the fun of it. This is actually really cool. I mean, we don't know where Grief Karg is going to be free to play farmable in the future, but he is going to be allowed to be used for the Chewbacca legendary event. And man, he's probably going to be extremely helpful. He would probably be extremely helpful. Here, Capital Games, here's some data for you to show that I want a sandbox mode. See, here you go. So uh, let's put Grief Karg in here. Uh, I don't know really what lead we want. Um, yeah, let's do Grief lead for the fun of it. I don't know if Grief lead. Again, I don't like Grief lead too much. We just got to get some. We got to get a lot of attacks out of turns here. Uh, Dengar's got attacks out of turns. I, uh, yeah, I don't know. Cad's got a double tap. What team do you want to see? It? We're using Relic 6-5 characters up against this event, so it's not like we're trying to legitimately try to see if we can beat this event, but it's, it's kind of fun. Emboli! <laughs> oh. Do Boba Grief gets pay out two turns? Double taps don't count, really? That that's if that's the case, that really sucks. That really sucks. That really, so that's but for sure we don't want to do grief lead. I have to go back and look. I didn't notice that. I didn't notice that. That, that probably would have no, made sense why it took forever. Well, to get that con we didn't. I didn't. We never got his contract off once. Hmm. No, I mean like if I'm calling in, let's say I'm. Like, this is what I mean. Dangar does basic. Calls in Django for a double tap assist. Do both of those assists from Django count out of turns? I'm not saying double taps when it's Django's turn, but if Django's being called out of turn, is it only the first attack that's counting or are both of them counting? That's what I mean. That's what I mean. All right, well, let's do this. The people I, I see mostly uh, this here. Uh, take him out. All right, let's go. Just for the fun of it. We're going to relive some memories here. I have not replayed the Chewbacca event uh, in ages. Good memories right here. Wouldn't it be funny if our relic bounty hunters get smashed? Because there was no relics. There's no gear 13 when this came out. It was only gear 12. I don't think we had. 
I don't think was there gear 12.5. I don't recall. Maybe there was. I think there was no gear 12.5. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. If you want to beat the, the Chewbacca event, you just gotta be sure you know you uh, gear 13, relic seven. Your team was there 12.5. I don't recall. I don't recall. Uh, all right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cleanse up Bosk. Ah, oh, seriously, that was a very short-lived ability right there. All right, we gotta get our contract going. So let's start putting hits on that dude. Oh my gosh, is this tier seven of the event? It was only gear eleven. My gosh. <laughs> oh, can Iron uh, test on my defense? Okay, I'll ask him. All right, he's gonna try. I'm gonna ask. Yeah, so I don't know if he's gonna do it, but that would be kind of nice to know. That would be kind of nice to know if he can record some stuff, like uh, how Donima hooked us up. So there's our contract. Beautiful. Let's just see if we can get rid of Han Solo. Holy cow! This even. Remember how frustrating this event was. Now it's just like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was interesting. Oh, there you guys go. This is your guy. You just got a whale for grief. You need to somehow get yourself a Relic 7 uh, ba a Bosk. Day one, we're playing Galaxy. Is this the wrong tier? I was going to say, this looks way too easy. This can't be the tier. This can't be the tier here. Hold on. Auto this. This is tier six. Okay. I was going to say, it looked a little too easy. I was like, we just completely walked over there. I was waiting for the 500. No, that was tier seven. That was tier seven. It said completed. Did you guys see that? That was not the wrong tier. That said tier seven right there, guys. That was tier seven. We'll do it again. Here, let's see. All right, guys, so here's your guide. Screw all those other YouTubers who tells you the mod order, how to do this with low gear. Those weaves aren't gonna give you the right advice. They're gonna put this puppy on full auto and you're just gonna smash him. Get wrecked, nerds. And the famous words of Scam gang over at Mobile Gamers Crew. This is all you got to do. This, seriously, this is how you got to get this. How you unlock Chewbacca nowadays. Don't watch that Arnold dude's videos. And yeah, I know that's one of his top videos for Galaxy of Heroes. Just screw it. Screw it. Yes, I know how to read the progress for the uh, the contract. Uh, but I wasn't looking close. But there you go. Easy. Easy. There's your full guide right there, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. How... This game has changed so much. This used to be such an annoying event. Get wrecked, nerds. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's uh, this account. How do we, did we end up winning this grand arena over here? Let me see. Ta -da. Why can't I, I don't want to enter yet. Oh, hold on, can we enter? Hey, we won, beautiful. We're at a nine win streak over here. Look at that. Number 327. Fantastic. Well, uh, let me see. I don't have anything set up. Um, all right. Iron Dingo says he doesn't have anything to record right now, but uh, he said he'll try to get something set up before uh mando comes out so we'll maybe maybe get some battles recorded for that hey donima's hitting us up oh donima's uh donima's hitting us up now uh yeah donima if you're watching the stream if you can maybe i don't what team did i put on defense i don't remember what team we put on defense it was Django. yeah sure uh let's see what, what do you guys want to see i mean really uh obviously we think grievous is gonna win Gas, yeah, we're not gonna gas against bounty hunters. Let's not waste his crystal attempts. Grievously, JTR. All right, well, yeah, okay, let's see JTR. Uh, Donovan, it looks like uh, JTR would be interesting because uh, a lot of people try pulling JTR against uh, Django. Maybe Grief will make it tricky. Yeah, let's see that. Sweet, we're still going. Yeah, we're, we're kind of wrapping up here. We're letting Donovan. Thank you, Iron Dingo, so much for all of your help. Iron Dingo's over here. They were the ones helping us program most of our defenses. Thank you so much, Donima. They're going to record a couple quick battles real quick. Uh, and so we just see how the defensive viability is whatever, whatever, with, uh, with whatever we left off there. But overall, I like Grief's potential. And I got to say, 
it's good seeing he's got low star viability i mean we were using him against relic geos relic night sisters this zeta is especially important i know we didn't have all the zetas on grief this zeta only adds 20 percent more damage and it's like yeah it's nice and all but it's i, I don't think it's a, a top priority but for sure this zeta this is going to be a staple ability for the bounty hunter crew absolutely love everything um this is offering and uh, that unique ability and the pay are kind of good he's a good character if you're someone that loves bounty hunters you should be able to make take some uh, advantage of of him being at low stars if you don't want to wail on this character right away and i'm really happy to say that we're going up against some very solid teams i don't know uh, what's the best team we can beat with this we maybe could have been uh cls we did beat jedi knight revan that was pretty good and again i don't know how practical that info is because not a lot of people are seeing Jedi Revan on defense. Maybe you're in an, an, an arena tier that maybe has a Jedi Knight Revan on defense still. Where I play, we don't see Jedi Knight Revan's on defense all that much. Unless someone just doesn't want to play offense, they'll just drop their whole defense together. Knight Sisters beating out with Boba Fett lead. No boss or Django. That was fairly nice. Knowing that you have a Knight Sister counter, it doesn't require the two best bounty hunters. That was pretty solid. Geo counter. We already saw Django with Cara Dune do the job, but that was with a seven-star Cara Dune. Four star grief with Jango being Geo Geo's is pretty good. So overall, a pretty solid character. Definitely more impressed than Cara Dune. Cara Dune was solid in her own way with that Terminator rule, but at least this guy, he's got more of the Captain Rex style kit. And it's actually really funny to see that Captain Rex, he basically gets this uh, for free. And you have to give the Zeta to grief. It's too bad. Uh, it's too bad. That would have been really nice. This is the um, just an Omega. But you know what? It's all right. I'm glad that his Zetas aren't attached to his other, like, unique ability, leadership. If it's attached to special abilities, those are going to be fine for a while. Those are going to be fine for uh, a long time. It's kind of like Veer Zeta. Having the Veer Zeta on the unique and not the lead is great. Things Because the problem is, once the character starts being used outside the lead, it's a waste of a Zeta. So, that's kind of uh, how I feel. So, is he worth it at three stars? I'd say so, yeah. Three, four stars? I mean, again, it depends what teams you're going up against and all that stuff. But uh, if you're going up against comparable teams to what I was facing or whatever is kind of uh, on par with where you're at, it's hard to give a blanket advice here. But for me, like, I think a lot of people playing at the end game like me, you should be able to get used out of this character. You guys saw it earlier. You shouldn't need to wait on this character unless, one, you're speculating he's going to be needed for, like, a legendary in the next three months. Or, two, the thing that the biggest benefit was obviously him becoming more durable but man once you get those you can get your better speed mods on this guy is wicked fast wicked wicked fast all right donna is still working on the recordings i'm letting i'm gonna wait a few more moments for him then we'll see what he sent us we have a donation from uh michael 499 it's been a while brother keep it up thanks well thank you for showing up thank you for hanging out with us here hopefully you guys are having a good time just kind of uh, chilling here for Donima for the time being. Let's uh, pull this up on a bigger screen while we sit back and chat. Oh, my gosh. Baby Yoda equals $500. Oh, jeez. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know where we're heading off with. Uh, there, I mean, there's got to be a, a, the child sometime down there. I can't imagine Capital Games not wanting to make money off that because Baby Yoda, the child, whatever makes you sleep at night. Man, talk about one of the biggest Star Wars merchandising opportunities. All right, so they're sending me JTR. It looks like JTR won, but only lost one character. So they're uploading the video right now. It's going to be interesting seeing how this game is going to move going forward. Uh, Nikita says, try them versus Empire. Uh, I know I'm a little late to your dono, but yeah, we're out of attempts. We, maybe I'll have to just, uh, I, when I got some more time, I'll just record some more battles and do like a, a review video on how I feel about this character. Might have to put that out later on this week. How much did it cost to get grief to seven stars? It cost about $300. I think we did $280 in crystals, plus we bought the $20 pack. So that's that's about the average for these uh, marquee characters. Unless you're getting that one good pull of $183.30, you can expect that all these characters are about $300. Uh, Kara is about $300, too. You saved my college funds for Baby Yoda. <laughs> that's funny. All right, he's uploading the vid right now. Almost there. Yeah, I don't know what else you guys want to see. Hey, Bima Sue! You guys know who Bima Sue is. You still play this game, I know, right? Because I miss you, man. I miss Bima Sue always trolling us in our Grand Arena streams in the in the little guild chats. You guys know. If you guys have been around for a while, you guys know Bima Sue. It's great to see you're alive and well, my friend. 
Great to see you, my friend. Bemisu's uh, iconic around the Kyber Club. Nova Lurker just went for the $30 pack. Uh, Canadian exchange rate. Thanks for the info, Admiral. Love the stream as always. Well, Nova Lurker, glad to hear that. Yeah, I, people are going to get a lot of good use out of this. I can't wait. I think I think we're gonna I think we're bound to see some four star grief cargas uh, thrown in some like bounty hunter teams and stuff like this. Keep in mind, if you can mod your team right, let's say Jedi Training Ray is gonna try to ability block Bosk. Boss Glee, let's say you're going with that. If you have your grief somewhat fast enough, he should be able to quickly cleanse off Bosk. So I think this uh, I don't know how actually the AI plays. We're gonna see in a moment how the AI plays against Jedi Training Ray. But I, this guy's gonna have a lot of potential. A lot a lot of potential. You missed my donut an hour ago. All right, let's catch up on some donuts while we're waiting for Sergeant Rainbow. Guys, thank you again so much for all your love and support. Let's give him a quick zoom in because, man, you guys see how expensive these characters are. Not expensive, and you guys definitely help out a ton with your donos. But just watching the stream, that every every little bit helps. Uh, ben Winkler missed my last uh, stream. Uh, missed the last stream, but here's my build that wall contribution. Thank you so much. <laughs> Blaze Walker 3-0 this Grand Arena. My uh, UG. LKR victorious over oh ultimate there we go uh, over Ray twice yeah Kylo's fantastic against Ray man if you want the safest counter <laughs> that's uh, Kylo Ren's your easiest counter uh I got you my friend thank you so much Blaze a Saint I got you Ringo Cad special will dispel ah that is right yes we did that he was pretty clutch Donima said the AI played pretty poorly well that's not very very optimistic of Donima not very optimistic of him. Please do what Nintendo don't. Dengar lead for the win. Yeah, we didn't do Dengar lead today. I don't know about Dengar lead. So here's the thing with the bounty hunters. Django, Bosk are pretty neck to neck. If I had to pick one, I'd much prefer using Django lead for offensive stuff. And then Bosk is for sure the second best lead. And then after that, it's like kind of Bosk or Zam is kind of in that the, the third or fourth spot there. And the rest are just kind of eh, eh. Embo leads apparently top tier from what we're seeing from all of our chat today. Oh, you guys are funny. I'm a, bit, a little bit disappointed that Donna was saying the AI played poorly. It should be almost done here, I think. <laughs> new content. CG, we are, reducing, we are introducing new content, also known as packs. Hey, at least Capital Games, they recognize that new characters aren't considered new content. So at least they, they, they recognize that. Like, we have Grief Cargan today. They don't consider Grief Cargan to be new content. So at least they're not tone deaf in that regard at least they're not tone deaf in that regard when do you think he gets a note okay so how marquee characters work you guys are a bit new to the game there's a whole system in regard to releasing them i don't remember the, the exact pinpoint but i believe they become free to play three months ahead i think um, i someone's got i got they, they posted it somewhere a couple years ago but i believe it's three months after the release of the character they put it on a node somewhere. So that way, uh, they put it on a hard node, cantina node. I can't remember off the top of my head. It's about three months, yeah. Usually about a month and a half after the release, they'll let them be farmed through crystals in the shipments. And then a month and a half after that, they'll release the character free to play somewhere in the game. So think, so what is it? Today's uh, April. So expect this character to become free to play in June. But at least as we saw, you should get some opportunity to take advantage of this character. Definitely should be able to get some opportunities. I guess while we wait for uh, Donovan, let's go back and rewatch some of the, the good highlights here. Let's see, where, where was that Boba Fett lead? I really like the Boba Fett lead we had going on. Hey, there we go. Yeah, here we go. Let's rewatch this clip real quick. All right, so here is definitely a, a good highlight battle here. Let's maximize this puppy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it over here, Gear Bear. All right. Scoot this puppy over a little bit. Alright, so this is definitely a good highlight moment right here. Relatively no important bounty hunters in here. And we were able to take out a Relic Knight Sister team. Alright, yeah, yeah, you stop talking. Just go, go go battle. There we go. And this is a faster Knight Sister team, too. They were running circles around us. So this is definitely impressive in my in my opinion. Because uh, I know bounty hunters could counter Knight Sisters, but usually you needed like Django, Bosk. Uh, something, something of that sort. So these are bounties relatively not like needed anyway. This is a four-star grief cargo as well, which is pretty great. What are we gonna do? We're gonna do, uh, you know, heal up right now. What do we do here? We have a healed up. That heal is so good, man. 
that heal is gonna really help out those lesser bounty hunter teams against like the plague and stuff like that there we go hit the aoe's beautiful boom counter-attacking buff the spell mass swarm yeah go after mother talzin bada bing bada boom that was beautiful contract triggered good to go i really love how he reduces all the cooldowns on the bounties it's really good basically you can just keep you know if you if you did execute a second ago boom you can do it again I, and he reduced his cooldowns to the mass assist he should have another mass assist ready to go like we started running circles around these puppies here Run right out the AOE. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So definitely some good stuff to go with this team here. Look at that, man. That heal is just so darn good on him. Boom. Yeah, that was really cool. I definitely think uh, that's, people are going to be able to take advantage of that because I don't really see Boba Fett lead be used for many things out here. Oh, here we go. We got a video. Donima, hook this up. Let's pop this video up here. <laughs> All right. So, Jedi training Ray up against uh, Django. Uh, this is a pretty legit bounty hunter team. Let's see how the AI did. He said it performed pretty poorly. Oh, that's a... Yeah. I mean, to be fair, R2D2 definitely... Uh, Focus fire everyone's attention there. Our teeth is definitely gonna help out against this team. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about this performance here. And this is a fast bounty hunter team, but uh, that uh, BB8 RT2 combo definitely helps them outrun that uh, Django. Yeah, not the best, uh, not the best performance here. So I don't know. We know that Django with Cara Dune is a pretty deadly counter on defense, but that was up against Geos and Nice. Hey, that was good. There we go. It's too bad that we lost. Uh, oh, hey, uh, Bob got a good hit right there. I mean, it's not a complete cakewalk. Like you just walk over them. They're definitely taking a couple of punches, but. Definitely not the best. I was kind of hoping they would maybe start off. Let's see, like how did they, how did Grief Carga open up? So they ended up winning. Let's let, let, let the we'll let the rest of the battle run. The Grief Carga opened up with his uh, mass assist, even when there was debuffs on the field. That's what I want to see because I would much rather have Grief cleanse after debuffs have been applied rather than a mass assist. All right, contract triggered for them. I mean, it is, it's a, it's a little scary. But yeah, he's not having a hard time with it. Yeah, he should have this in the bag. Yeah, that's game over there. 10% battery, down of a charger device, my friend. Hmm. Almost lost Finn. Almost lost him. It's a scary battle. I'm, I'm sure if maybe he didn't, like, let's say he didn't use RT2, this probably would have been a lot scarier of a battle. So he won this one, right? Yeah, he got this battle in the win. All right, so how did this, how did the AI open up? That's what I want to know. All right, hold on, hold on. So, um, uh, hmm, yeah. So, uh, so Jedi Trinity, there was no debuffs on the field. I kind of want to know if there was debuffs on the field. If he would cleanse first or still go for the mass swarm. All right, well. I was hoping at least it would make Jedi Training Ray lose against it, but against this variant, maybe we had maybe a different bounty hunter variant. Uh, maybe we had Cara Dune in there with the Terminator rule. Maybe it'd be a lot scarier. But hey, they didn't pull off 60 ban. That would that would not have been a 60 banner win up against uh, Django Fit, that's for sure. So interesting stuff today. Uh, you want to? Oh, you want uh, Donima says he'll do one without R2. I mean, R2 is a pretty logical choice to use. But yeah, all right. If you want Donima, if you're listening. Let him do one more without R2D2. Because maybe if uh, they use R2, if they didn't use R2, it'd be a lot scary. Who knows? That would have been, what, like a 52 banner win, 51 banner win? Hey, Darth Revan, great to see you, my friend. D Thank you for everything you do. You make COVID 10 times more enjoyable. Who's your favorite character from The Mandalorian? 
you think grief is meta oh no grief is not gonna be meta at least right now uh they need they need a lot more grief is just gonna make those bounty hunter teams up a couple more notches favorite character in mandalorian oh, i mean saying the child's easy the the child's everyone's favorite basically i don't know mando's kind of neat i like mando oh i like every character for their own reason every character for their own reason can you wish a, a bryce a happy birthday i don't know who bryce is but happy birthday bryce hope it's a beautiful 19th b day let me tell you when you hit the 20s it all just no i'm joking <laughs> how long has this been going on for we've been going for about uh, two and a half hours i'm waiting for donna to send this one more clip and they're going to show us jedi training great without rtd2 so there's no stealth slowing down everything so we're going to uh, let him get do one more battle then we're going to wrap up the stream there other than that i feel uh, i feel like we learned a couple things oh wow okay so we have a different report from donna without r2d2 the bounty hunters absolutely wrecked jedi training ray so if you see a grief karga on defense of bounty hunters maybe that's going to tell us make sure you put r2d2 because the stealth is really going to slow down everything i'm thinking it's that stealth and that aoe uh exposed from r2d2 not it's not exposed but it triggers and exposed so that's uh, i guess that's a little bit promising they're going to go ahead and uh send us footage of that and then we'll wrap it up here what do you think of him with Bosley, Django, Boba, and Dengar? I think we've done something around that variant. I, uh, we've done so many Bounty Hunters teams. Uh, Mr. Owl, that's pretty, that's a good team. I mean, my personal favorite with the, uh, for offensive purposes, I love Django lead. He's fast, a lot more damage output, and his contract gets triggered so fast in the right type of lineup. Uh, like we saw with Cara Dune, freaking, you could just get that contract triggered like in 15 seconds at the beginning against the Geo team, and Nice is there, it's like, boom contract trigger, and you're removing Terminator up the wazoo Bosk is a good lead, don't get me wrong Bosk is definitely gonna be uh, good, but maybe on defense that'd be fine I don't know, I just, I, I, it's a great team I think, it's not gonna probably break Grievous teams or something of that sort, but it's still a solid team Well, while we're waiting here, let's see if we can maybe do another Chew event, let's see if we can, uh so I see that people are just showing up again. They, we did the Chew event earlier. It's actually really funny going back in hindsight, re-watching the, or replaying the Chew event with, with these Gear 13 relic out of their minds, bounty hunters here. Uh, let's see, let's, uh, we'll, 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 we'll put Grief in just for fun. Put Grief in. Let's try to get some, uh, we got two mass swarms here. Let's put Greedo in here. All right, let's do this. Let's see if we can get this. No Dengar. Ah, we'll put Dengar in. He's got the attack out of turn. All right, here we go. Let's, let's slow play this. Let's go ahead, mass swarm. Uh, we no, we got to get retribution. That's what we got to get first. All right, we got the retribution. There we go. Attack out of turn. Fantastic. Uh, let's go ahead and get a taunt up. All right, we should get some counter attacks here. There we go. Wow, we just deleted R2 out of here. AoE coming in hot. There we go. Let's get rid of Chewy. Wow. You know what? You guys remember? I don't know. I remember playing this event for hours, trying to get my Boba Fett low gear theory to work. And now it's just like, eh, eh. Are we even, like, see, here's the problem. We did this whole event and we never got his contract to trigger. I don't, there's gotta be something we're missing with the grief. Here's the thing, not every single bounty hunter lead needs to be good. We know that with Embo, for example. But it's like, ah, uh, it's just, uh, his is just way too conditional. It's like, I feel like if there's like one more mass, like one more mass assist somewhere, we'd be golden. Maybe we'd be golden at that point. But right now it's just like, uh, not sure. Cause a lot of teams are PVP have all these buff this spell. So I don't know how I feel about that. Stop using mini mind mayhem with Dane guard. Don't tell me what to do. Devon, Devon Hickey. All right, we got a video here. All right, so no RT2. Let's see what uh, let's see what promised land results we have here. All right, send them on over, Gary. All right, here we go. No RT2 here. Let's see how this turned out. He said he got smashed. Wow, not even a one minute battle here. Whoa! Oh yeah, no RT2 to give the bonus turn meter. Holy cow! Turn one deleted. Oh my gosh! Yeah, without R2D to helping BB-8 get out there early against the Django lead. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Yeah, this is definitely night and day difference. So, word to the wise. If you're going to see Grief Karga with the Django lead, that's pretty well fat, uh, pretty well sped up. You 
probably want to put R2 D2 in there. Holy cow! Boom! Wow! Wow, that get wrecked! Wheel harder! That was uh definitely interesting. Definitely interesting right there. So I guess, yeah, just the, that RT to just totally changed the line to a whole different extent. So that's going to be our video stream for today. I'm going to try to get do some more testing uh, out on the side. Again, big shout outs to Iron uh, Dingo, Donima. Thank you guys so much for helping record some footage from Domina. Iron Dingo, your MVP for trying all this stuff out again. Uh, without these guys coordinating with me, there is... I don't understand why people want to wail in this game. You can get Grief Karga. What are you going to do with him? He's not going to be Galactic Legends teams or Gas teams and Squad Arena. The only thing you can test him out in is Galactic Wars. So big shout out to these guys for working with me to do these uh, live streams because it'd be tough to do it without it. All right, guys. Say goodbye to your boy Grief Karga. Interesting stuff today. I'm really looking forward to the future of what this guy is going to bring for the Bounty Hunters. We're waiting to see how Mando is going to fix... Not fixed, but add to the equation. I think Grief Karga and Mando's probably going to be a, a beautiful pair. And then Kyle K, one for the road. Thank you so much. Again, another quick shout out to all the lovely people in the Kyber Club for liking, watching this whole time, watching afterwards. Whatever part you're playing, you're playing an important role. Everyone, you take care. Iron Dingo and Donima, thank you. <laughs> all right, guys. Let's... Lead out with some Kyber Club music. Bam. There he is. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? No. We're going to break it down for you guys over at the Kyber Club. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Have a great morning, evening, afternoon. Whatever it may be, the Kyber Club is open. For how long? 25, 8. Oh, come on, let's do this, buddy. Ah. The Jedi are taking over. I am the Senate. Ha! Another whale of Corey. Oh, that was a good view right there. Oh, good view. The Jedi are taking over. Another good whale session, ladies and gentlemen. Be sure on your way out, grab as much whale food you need. Plenty of revenue, plenty of money, plenty of power. Here at the Kyber Club, here aboard the Deadliest Star Destroyer. Thank you so much for hanging out. Kyber Club's open 25-8. Party's all yours, guys. Take it easy, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! I love you guys so much. Get ready to break this puppy down. Get ready to break this puppy down. You guys ready for this? Get the cameras going. We got to send these cameras all over to Kyber Club. Let's do this. Come on. All right, here we go. Get ready, guys. Do it. Did it do it? Do it. Did do it. The general take it over. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. There you go, Gary. Break it down. Do it. Do, do it. 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 Do it.